Also, I'm very uh, glad to report that when I was looking through uh, Twitch, uh, it does specifically have in the tags uh, evil characters. Uh, <laughs> you're portraying evil characters in this game as one of the tags that, you wow. can, that we wow. have set for the stream. I don't feel good about you having it added on now. For it wasn't session. appropriate up until now because I don't really believe in evil characters so much because, like, the stuff Joseph has done has been evil from certain points of view, but it was also something he had to do you because of his. Don't path. even finish that sentence, mate. However, <laughs> now someone's committed an actually yeah, evil act. That would be Hassan. Say, would be Hassan. Don't really finish bad. that sentence. Uh, embracing that now, Abigail. Did you hear that, Miles? You're eviler than Joseph. Really you know that's not true. I'm you really are. Being, um, yeah. Funny. Funny. <laughs> Maybe so overall you're not eviler than Joseph, but you have committed the most evil single act out of all, all of us. Star Wars, what do you think? I agree. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Okay. We've reached consensus. This is democracy. All right, so. I see. <laughs> I see. So we are picking he says up. in his evil voice. <laughs> the next night. That was my normal voice. <laughs> we can't you even know, tell the difference. Wait, fuck no. We mean the same. <laughs> so evil. No. Yeah, Miles. What does that tell you? <laughs> what is, I, I guess I walked into that one. <laughs> yeah, you did. This is my normal. That one was my fault. You can have that one. You right. walked into it. Chancellor Palpatine said the same thing after going, Do it! <laughs> my normal Do voice. It. He says in his normal voice. <laughs> his good voice. Palpatine was a good guy, remember? Yeah. That's Democratically true. elected. Exactly. Mm -hmm. The evil Jedis, however. Who attempted to establish an coup. illegal mi uh, military junta. Yeah, what the fuck? But we're stopped by the democratic forces of the People's National Stormtroopers. Yeah. Do you know what else the Jedi believed in? Private property. Yeah. Guess <laughs> what? Not anymore, bitch. You got Order 66. It all belongs to the Empire now. Nice. Alright, so now that we're back to what we were doing... Um... So Miles is evil. Yes. So David's gonna have to go and get his, um... No, 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 we're yeah. starting... Dinner will not be for hours yet. Oh, okay. Alright, so... You guys wake up... And, um... So, this is the night, by the way, we've mentioned it already, but it's been, like, weeks since the last time we played. So this is the night that you guys uh, heard about a underground fight at which Joseph, right. Joseph. air quotes was supposed to attend. Who is now, Joseph is a woman now. And yes, Joseph is still uh, yeah, a woman. So Josephine. Josephine. Just to remind Josephine. ourselves that uh, Yes, thank you for the reminders. I had completely forgotten about that. I know, that's why I was just yep. pointing out that... that yeah, uh, I, I appreciate it, I'm Joseph saying. Joseph is separate from Josephine. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Separate but equal. Mm, yeah. Right? That's what we tell people. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Are we waking up in the... Are we, are we awakening in the evening? Where, yes. Where are we at? So basically you guys are awakening um, this night. So how uh, long if, has it been since Hassan murdered Abigail? Um, it has been... Last night. Basically, yeah, last night. Now, so, I didn't really give you a chance. Uh, are there... Last time because of the uh, insomnia stuff. But is there anything you guys want to have done basically before this night to have prepared for this Fight Club thing? Uh, okay, so purpose. Fight Club thing, what? Okay, so remember Joseph's character got Josephine. a weird yeah. email about that he was scheduled for a fight. He was going to be put him on early, lost the, lost the new email, so he sent it to the old one, which Joseph received, right? And Josephine. So like, Josephine, yes. Josephine, Josephine no. Um, which said that he is scheduled for this fight club. Well, Josephine isn't actually scheduled for any fight club, so we surmised that St. Castine is posing as Joseph fighting in this fight club, so we hatched a little plan to go to the fight and try and catch St. Castine. Oh, wow. 
Tonight okay. is the night of that fight. Yeah, I'll need uh, to feed before well, that. Yeah, I think I should feed as well. All right. So what I'm saying is, is did we get any? Is there any preparations you want to make before we actually we start guns? play? Did we get? Did we do any ritual? I don't have any rituals for uh, for uh, infernalism. Would we be able to feed the previous night, or is that too late? Um, that's uh, we'll handle feeding. You have time before the uh, actual fight begins. Okay. I will. I will have made up some uh, some sludge. Some sludge. Can I carry it around with me? Um. Yeah. Okay. Sludge. Be able to. I have. A, I got a new ritual where I can turn uh, my. How much vitae do I? Can I have like fed and? Like, I mean, you whatever you want to take off, you can take off. And but that's what it is. So. You, oh, you're turning your body part into blood. I know. I'm turning my blood into a bomb. Wow, <laughs> that's quite a bit different. <laughs> yeah. That's she blood blood of, that's blood. Blood. she looked through the good uh, Koldunic uh, sorcery rituals. Oi. So Unlike that fake fireball shit. Anyway. It was way better than so, a real fireball. So I'll make I'll do a couple of points of that. <laughs> Alright, I mean, just mark off what you have and then mark it, how many you have down on your sheet. Okay, so I have two, two pints. I have a lot of flame. All right. All right. Okay. So I'm I'm good. Anybody else? I think I'm good. I still have wanting to talk to Abigail. Okay. Yeah, we are going to role play the whole getting up Abigail now of Vampire. Yeah. yeah. That will happen. I just wanted to make sure there was no equipment you guys wanted okay. to acquire. I only my own sword. Oh, uh, right. I got my gun like can normal. I, can I walk around with one of the cattle prods? <laughs> I mean, if you if you want to walk prod. around with a cattle prod, you could do it. I'm not I don't sure. Have a weapon. Are you going for like um, a domination? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, your vicissitude is kind of a weapon. Okay. I mean, every fight before you've just pulled people apart. Yeah, I have. But that and it's oh, proven Mary, effective. You're still on, actually, right? Yeah, I am. Okay. So what was your male name? Leon. 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 Right. Okay. Okay. All right. All right, so I've got I've got exploding blood and vicissitude. Okay, I'm feeling yeah. good. I mean, if you want to carry around a cow pride, you can. Although it obviously I didn't people know we will were notice. In Canada. Stephen couldn't bring any guns um, into Canada. Um, you're gonna attract a hell of a lot of notice if someone walk. If I love it. You're like, oh, it's in Canada. If, if someone were walking down the street outside the house with a cow no, pride. No, I know you can't have any weapons in Canada. Stephen couldn't bring any weapons into Canada. Well, I mean, I don't know if it's a matter of illegal, so but it certainly like, is going to draw we, a hell of a lot of notice. Are going to be arrested because, you know, I've got a stick? I feel like if you're carrying around a cattle pride in public anywhere, the All police right. are going to interview you. All right. Okay. I'll let it go. Okay. <laughs> There's nothing good that comes of that. <laughs> Can I conceal mine somehow, my sword, if I'm walking on with that? Um, your sword? Uh, I mean... <laughs> You could Freaking not to, like, walk around with it comfortably. If you got, like, a big duffel bag, I suppose you could probably try and hide it in that. But you're not going to be able to hide it, you know, in a way that's not... So if we're going to a fight club, you could have a duffel yeah. bag. That's totally reasonable. You can't hide it on your person, is I guess what I'm getting at. Alright, yeah, I'll just get a duffel bag. Do you keep a dagger as well? I have my knife. Alright, good. That one is concealed, and it's on me on pretty much all times. Nice. Alright. So. We ready? We're good? Yeah. Alright. Yes, so, sir. You guys wake up this evening. Okay. Well. Alright, we up. Right. Feeding time. Okay. And I assume you guys have all made plans to go to this club together? So what time is uh, it? it? Like midnight? When are we supposed to be there? Um, it's around midnight. Um, although, if you guys, um, you might know that you're planning on going out and feeding first. Yeah, I was going to say, we probably want to bulk up and feed and, and get whatever. So yeah, let's... Uh, yeah, I got to also talk to Abigail and talk to um, Yamamoto about this. Yeah, That's right. we'll probably yeah. be busy. Maybe right. the three of us should go out to feed while Miles... Oh, I, I have 
I have really low blood, so I need to join you. <laughs> Alright. Um, well, so so you we awaken. all get together. Does Abigail, so I say right, well, we, we, we've got plans to like meet in the library because yeah. we're going to go feed and then we're going to go to this fight. So right. that's our plan. So I'm in the library waiting for everybody. Alright, so you and Joseph, Josephine, okay. and uh, the other one, John, arrive there. John. Hassan. <laughs> You awaken uh, with Abigail. She's still sleeping next to you. Is she? I mean, yeah. Well, I mean, we last left off with her huddled up with you. Well, we both, we both went to bed. Yeah. Together. I guess. Totally. Surprisingly so. Yep. Not really cuddling so much as she's just kind of emotionally devastated and you have an arm around her, awkwardly. Like a white guy. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because he's Middle Eastern. Yeah, I know, that's what I'm saying. You would think he would be a lot more suave, but no. Nah, he's not. Nah. He's Considering the circumstances, I think it can be forgiving that to be quite suave. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sorry, I killed you. Alright. All right, then. So, as I awake, I assume she awakes too, sometime, roughly. Mm-hmm. Right, in that case, I will go, we need to talk. <laughs> you killed me. That is correct. You are now among our kind. Do you know what that means? I need blood? That is correct. And you cannot walk in the sun. And I damned you to hell. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. You're going to hell. Yep, pretty much damned you to hell. Furthermore, as I was the one who turned you into what you are now, you were a part of Clan Asamite. That means that there are certain peculiarities you must be aware of. Certain abilities you may learn, certain things you may not do. For example, you should aim to never, under any circumstance, drink the blood of another kind kindred. But you do it. I do. And I should not be. I am weak. Great start. <laughs> Have you any questions? No. I see. Then, we must go to Yamamoto and explain to him the circumstances of your rebirth. Follow me. Alright. Oh, and just one thing I'll mention out of character is that uh, be aware your promise, even though you broke it once, your promise does still stand. So if she comes to any further harm for any reason, uh, so you, you back, could you sort of re-promise. You could degenerate, uh, and at obviously one dot, your character becomes unplayable if you uh, degenerate one more time. So yeah, okay. Just making sure you're aware. Thanks that you're for telling me that now. <laughs> Just making it clear you're gonna go fully insane if anything happens to her. You All right, really I got it. Well, I mean, you will get a roll, but since you're at one dot, you only get one dot of conviction or a conscience to spend. So, mm -hmm. and it's the worst sin. So you got basically a ten percent chance of making it. Uh huh. Good to know. All right. Good. Just laying out the yeah, stakes I'm glad we're for going everyone. Out on, a, uh, on a mission after this. That's <laughs> nah, gonna be excellent. Mm -hmm. If you truly excellent, <laughs> although it's only if you know about it that it comes into being. So I guess Joseph's stuff is still good. All right. Ah uh, yes. All right. All right. So, yeah, you guys head off, and uh, you knock on Yamamoto's door, and he asks for you to enter. Right then, I do so alongside Abigail. Alright. He sits back. Zach does have his fingers steepled when he plays Yamamoto. It's brilliant. 
Oh, I have embraced Abigail. I can see that. I did not ask for permission in doing so, and I will accept whichever punishment you deem worthy. It's good to know. I'll let you know what I've thought of something. I see. When may we introduce her to the prince? On the prince, sorry. What's the... Um, <laughs> All the, right, um, now he's going to be suspicious of you. No, yeah. what's, what's the... Uh, <laughs> Bishop, is that the word? The Archbishop. Archbishop. Archbishop, is that the one? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. When may we introduce her to the Archbishop? She is not a uh, true Sabbat yet. When she becomes true Sabbat, then she is worthy of the Archbishop's notice. It's a Very well. Answer. We shall strive towards that then. That is all. We will speak later. Of course. I will exit the room alongside Abigail. Really <laughs> you, uh, Yamamoto hates you. <laughs> <laughs> he hates you. Mary, so playing you... the voice of your shadow, I guess. <laughs> I just want you to understand. He hates you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> On we go. So, do you head to the meeting? I do. All right. So everyone arrives here at the uh, the Turn main hall to watch Hassan enter with Abigail. Now I don't know really anything went on. No. Okay. Jean has a pretty good idea of what happened. No one else knows anything. All right. So this is normal. They walk around together. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Mm. So, shall we go? Mm-hmm. But we're gonna find out when she starts drinking blood, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, we'll figure it out. Of course. So, um, is Abigail coming with us again this time? She looks, uh, kind of, you know, I guess disdainfully would be, might be how you would describe it, over at Hassan. It says, am I going with you, master? Oh, you will be joining us, yes. All right. Well, I got the van all signed out. <laughs> Let's go. Abigail is among our kind now. Excuse me, what? Oh. Excuse me, what? As I said, she is among our kind now. Joseph is very, Josephine is very interested. Uh, could you go into more detail? Did Yamamoto order this? Fuck's sake. I thought you weren't supposed to bring her to harm. You are correct. I was not. So what happened? I <laughs> failed. Ow. Ah. There is no need for you to know that. Wise man. So Abigail, what, uh, what happened? <laughs> you know she trusts me. I don't want I'm to aware. talk about it. Okay, that's, okay, that's, that's fair. That's fair, Joseph. Ian. Um, it's going to take some while to get used to that. We, uh... Also, <laughs> yeah, think I'll about put, how he feels about I'll it. put a comforting uh, hand around Abigail's shoulder, say, you know, if you're ready, I am pack priest, and I am happy to listen. Uh, but right now we do have a mission tonight. Will she be going on the mission with us as well, Hassan? She will. Alright. So we should probably feed as much as possible. Um, and let's focus on that. Yes. Yes. I get it. And before we go, I uh, put a hand on Abigail's shoulder and I tell her, I'll always make sure she's safe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm staring uh, daggers at him. Josh, could you please check? Your oh, sorry, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you guys head out, and uh, where is it that you're gonna go to feed? Well, mm. I need somebody to dominate or 
<laughs> I mean, I know you're all relying on Star We're Wars to pull through. We're all relying on Star Wars to uh, just feed us. Is it? It's still winter. There's nobody yep. outside. Oh yeah. So let's go to the. Uh, I don't know, the nightclub again? Nightclub? I am a man now. Can I try and, um... Yeah, I mean, if you want to. Find a drunk girl? Yeah. Your difficulty suddenly grew up by two. Do you have any money to buy her a drink? Um, no. Oh, Hassan, by the way. <laughs> Leon's going up and just expecting to get bought drinks and doesn't understand why I'm anything like, is no, wrong. He's buying me any drinks. Oh, damn, I'm a man now. <laughs> um, so, Hassan... By the way, I do have a request of you. I have a person. Before I answer that in character, oh god, can we assume I've sold the fucking jewels yet? Um, yes. Okay, have good. You, have you reported the money is the question. I have, of course. Well then, my request to you is, uh, moot. Never mind. I'll figure out another way. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I'm sure I could just go in and dominate a bunch so, of people. Joseph, I will place. need to be speaking to you later. <laughs> <laughs> Joseph, right. Josephine, we need to have a discussion later. <laughs> when you guys just end up killing these vessels, you're just going to be looking through their pockets for money. Yeah, uh, something. I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah. So, after, after this mission... Mm. Uh, Oh, I'll hook up so what this. you're saying is, Mary, is that now that you're playing a man, you're going to find a girl and realize that you need a little spreading around I money. I need a little spreading around money. <laughs> okay, <laughs> David. Experience. We were right. Eventually, Mary would understand the spreading around money. I, I understand Good job, the Zach. spreading around money. I, yeah, you were offended by the method of acquisition. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking got him. <laughs> All right. All right. So, yeah, so I'm going to have to rely on How do you think Hassan got all those jewels? Spreading around money. Just, just, just yeah, absolutely. Around. All right. So, you guys are going to the nightclub and relying on Josephine. Yeah, Josephine. Looks like it, yeah. Really beautiful. Have I, have I, uh, did we do a manipulation? Spent a couple of nights. Have I done an, another uh, work on her to uh, make her prettier? Um, yeah, she you wanted, can. He, she wanted to get her uh, appearance up. Yeah, I'll give you a roll for that. We'll see. What is your dexterity or plus body crafts? We completely fucked it up. Well, we'll see if it's it a botch. It is, uh, that's six. These are the kinds of things I wanted you to, when I went on that whole thing, it's like, before play well, begins, I the stuff you prepare. I forgot about that. I forgot that Josephine wanted to try to pretty. Speaking of stuff we prepare, Zach, could you check your PMs out? Uh, oh yeah, let me do that. Um, so yeah. you lowered Star Wars appearance by one. I lowered it? Yep, it was I'm a botch. sorry, I botched that. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. It's difficult to yes. attend, so you have an equal wow. chance of... Well, there's a the best chance is that nothing happens whatsoever. Sorry, I you have one breast larger than the other now. That's tough. Hey, you tried, though. I appreciate the effort. You know uh, yeah, so... You Some made people you, dig it. She made you look, uh, like, less, more inhuman, basically. Ah, well, uh, it's, 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 isn't there like a gothic club? We just go there. They'll like the inhuman look. Just gotta find the right audience for it. Oh. Wait, wait, David, let me uh, check with everyone else first, and then I'll get back to you. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> they are uh, plotting behind the scenes now. <laughs> Star Wars, yeah, your overall appearance now. This is two. You know, it ain't too oh. bad. Oh, so you were a tree, and you've been knocked down to two? Yeah. Alright, that's not that bad. Ooh. Yeah. I mean, as a man, that's what I used to be, so, you know, it happens. <laughs> the, the fucking cloud. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I hate the Yeah, cloud. well, listen, uh, it's been stolen before, hasn't it? <laughs> I mean, I mean, yes, okay, I guess uh, it's less likely to be stolen from you. Woo. I don't care if the whole world sees. <laughs> yeah, that's that's true. You're trying to publicize, so it makes sense. Yeah, whatever. All right. 
You can't handle the truth. All right. So how many how many blood points does Stalworth? Play? Okay. Now That's we're coming back doing. around to what Stalworth is doing. So he is just making the rounds, just dominating people left and right. All right, Stalworth, uh, give me a manipulation plus leadership. That'll be seven, with especially in small groups. <laughs> All right, small groups. If you are That's trying to suggest a small group thing, we could go with that. I think that's probably. You do need a lot of vessels. Indeed. You know, we got Abigail, we got all the other people. Yeah, I mean, he's feeding a crowd now. I'm like a mother hen. You are. You are very motherly. All right, and give me a wits plus subterfuge. That'll be seven, with especially in seduction. All right. So, Abigail is also going to uh, request uh, to go in and basically feed herself. I don't know how you feel about that, Hassan. Uh, wait, well, when you mean uh, feed herself, does it mean she'll join us? She'll attempt to feed she by herself? She'll go in there, find someone, and find then feed her on her own, own. Find her own vessel. She's not going to rely on Joseph. Heen. <laughs> Done. I see. I shall watch over you, but you may attempt to do so. All right. So, she uh, goes over and uh, and just not very long at all, just a few minutes. She manages to uh, pull one of the men from the bar and then take him off into uh, the restrooms. And All then, right. Can I obfuscate and follow? Uh, yes. You I can, will do so. You can be the ultimate creeper. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just watching my daughter feed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, you go in, and um, you see her uh, taking... Uh, she seems to have gone off into... Uh, a stall with him and is feeding from him. I see. I'll wait for her to finish, then I'll She's leave stopping. with her. Is she draining the guy? Um, she does uh, seem to be going a little long, but then she does stop. Does the guy seem to be okay? Um, he is definitely pale, and he is passed out, but he doesn't look, like, hospitalized necessarily. He might, you know... Something could happen to him, but he's not necessarily. He could have just passed out because he had too much to drink, and then. Should I wipe this guy's memories? I will request that he do so. Is, is Abigail now drunk? <laughs> I'm sick of you telling me what to do, Hassan. <laughs> is she? No. <laughs> she just kind of walks back. She doesn't even notice you. Being All right, then. Uh, I will de-obfuscate at some point and I will go talk to her. Alright. Yes? You were a bit too greedy when feeding. Take more care in the future. I could say the same thing to you. Regardless, you were quite effective. You Most got impressive. me there. <laughs> Your burn, I mean. Very impressive. Says thanks. <laughs> yes. The awkward domestic is, you know, there. Let's, uh... <laughs> you that make was, with the that blood. Was it. So Joseph does uh, bring out several uh, people over the course of the evening out to you guys. Um... So you're able to get back uh, two blood points each, unless you want to take more from your particular vessels. Yeah, the couple's good for me. Alright, is David back from getting dinner yet? I would assume not, then. Alright, well, we're going to take a small break and wait for him. Because he's got a grown All right. Man. And I assume he wants to be informed that he's gotten some Vitae. Yeah, no, we don't have time. Fuck that guy. 
<laughs> he was gonna go get dinner. <laughs> it's true. I'm back. Now David's back. Hello. Nice. <laughs> All right. Got so dinner. you got uh, a couple of pieces, a couple of pieces, a couple of points of Vitae uh, from uh, Start with Dominating People. From various men, I presume. Oh, yeah. Well, from one man. You can take more if you want to, but again, two is just the regular amount. That's no problem, so. All right, yeah. So that's fine by me. All right. You can take less if you wanted to. I'm good. I'll take two. All right. Um, and Stallworth uh, did not do necessarily great on his rolls, so he takes a long time out there when he's uh, grabbing people. So if there's anything you want to do. Um, Hassan. Yes? Could I uh, speak with you privately for a second? You may do so. Actually, who? so um, Abigail went in as well, so it's just me, Leon, me, Leon and Hassan left outside? Um, Abigail came back in after, uh, what, she went to feed herself and Hassan followed her. Okay. So it's but, like I said, um, while. yeah. Back. Couple of boys. <laughs> that's, alright, that's weird. Um, <laughs> but like I said, uh, jo Josephine is taking so long that you have plenty of time to... Yeah. Alright, well, so yeah, I'll try to get Hassan aside, so just one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> Let's step out of the car for a smoke. I'll talk with Abigail. Is that alright with you, Miles? I said yes. Alright. You two are just watching so, uh, through the window. <laughs> They're like right there. <laughs> yeah, no, they went around to the front of the car and realized that, but it's fine. So, Hassan, I don't know really how to say this, but uh, look, we all know what Joseph's like, yeah? We do. Well, I've got a video I need you to see. <laughs> and I'll take out I'll take out the phone okay. and I'll show him. See David, if you were really smart, you would have looked up the YouTube video of this, found the timestamp for when this happened. <laughs> <laughs> Gone there, shown him. Yeah. No, I, I, I was there for that session. Yeah, you were. So anyway, showing him the video. Mm -hmm. What is this neon cut? <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I'll explain what's happening, just in case he doesn't get it. Right. <laughs> so I love that, like, after he has murdered Abigail and brought her back as a vampire, and Abigail totally David's gets just scheming for like, allies against Joseph. He's still you're like, all like, yeah, Joseph's the bad guy. Anything we can do really? to turn around. <laughs> Dude, Hassan is the most evil, so he'll be the most ruthless in Apparently, stopping Joseph. As an infernalist, <laughs> yeah. Ian. As an infernalist, it is Joseph. Ian. <laughs> I may have killed my daughter and turned her into an immortal vampire, but at least I'm not an infernalist. Yeah. What's That's funny is, uh, yeah, exactly, I'm the most evil, really. You I'm are the most evil. You're the infernalist, and so, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's, yeah. Yeah. No, Leon's just... <laughs> All right. Anyway, so um, so as they're out there talking, I'm just gonna be like Abigail. All right. Um. And uh, I sense some hostility toward Hassan. The next time, you uh, the next time you see, uh, Joseph, I am gonna require a self control roll off of you. Now <laughs> having seen this, you murdered her, but you're pissed off that he was dominating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It is hypocrisy, but that doesn't mean it's yeah, out of character. Mm-hmm. Well, it just means I get another opportunity to lead him into temptation, you so know, stop. That's something you do. You're welcome, my Stalworth. I, th I thank you. Thank oh, you. Oh no, I fell for your trap. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not a trap. I'm trying to screw over Stalworth. Mm-hmm. All right. So, um, alright, so you guys are, uh, hanging out, and eventually, uh, Josephine, you're coming out with the, uh, with Hassan's... With the vessels. With Hassan's vessel, and, uh, yeah, you kind of oversee them, 
you know, Looking standing out John's front of phone. the standing out front of the van. Do I see them uh, looking at John's phone? Um, he seems to be, like, just putting away the phone. Do I see the look on Hassan's face? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Josephine is going to be on high alert. High, high alert. Well, Boiled spring. if I recall correctly... Did, did, did Josephine just choose to ignore me recording, or did she actually not see me right behind her recording? Yeah, no, she, she just chose to ignore it. So she's aware wow. of what you're showing her. Wow. So brazen. <laughs> yeah, you standing next to the guy that murdered Abigail. <laughs> he still yeah, has a promise to protect her. About it. Um, he was pretty brazen. How many times did he uh, try and stab her? Like oh, 10? the murder was pretty brazen. He's pretty brazen. Please, Daddy, no! Still stab her. Pretty brazen. You know, a lot of times though, One people get time. most people get most upset about like the things they see other people doing that they do themselves yeah. too. I know, I know, and that's what I feel yeah. this is. See, it's, it's like the cognitive he, it's, dissonance is fueling his rage. It's He's not Hassan's own guilt being transferred over. As, He's not you know, to you. Rage on to Joseph is what's going on there. Yeah. Because he feels his own guilt. He's angry at himself and he is transferring it all over onto uh, Joseph. And Cass is angry as well. That's completely understandable. You know, if I, if I was a piece of shit to murder my child, yeah. I would feel pretty bad. Whoa. Whoa. It's throwing down now. Jesus Christ, shut up. <laughs> Put him in the room. <laughs> Walking upstairs. <laughs> All right. All right. So we'll get the fight started. All right. So yeah. All right. So you bring the vessel. You guys are approaching each other. What do you do? I don't, don't. attack him. All right. That's what I do. The vessel bites into him. You try not to attack him. So self control. Uh. It's two, but my path is to one. Exactly. So, I knew Using path was one, I just made you do it to uh, rub it in. Will PowerPoint. All right. You can't make a willpower, you can't use will PowerPoint on virtue rolls. But you do make it successfully. Wow. I thought you couldn't make it on uh, conscience rolls specifically, not the uh, virtue rolls in general. in general, I'm pretty sure. Um, I would have to look it up. Either way, it doesn't I'm matter. Pretty sure, I'm pretty sure you can do it on courage rolls, at least. You make it anyway, so don't spend the fucking points. <laughs> I We're don't, I don't. You. Holy shit, like. <laughs> yeah, this might really be useful later. All right. This might be useful later, but regardless, I... Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alright. So you do not attack successfully. So, uh, what you guys been up to? I said, what you guys been up to? <laughs> Staring at him. Uh, you were simply watching a video. The vessels eagerly. After this, I will need to speak with you. Okay, cool. I'll make sure to keep a good distance away from you. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, likewise. I appreciate that for once. Well, it don't serve any purpose right now to tempt you into fighting me. Because, mm -hmm. you know, we gotta go fight St. Cassidy. Is anybody, away? Is anybody away? remembering our mission? No. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> no. Right. If I was really evil, if I was really evil, I would try to goad you into attacking me and then throw Abigail in the way. That's if I was really evil. Wow. But wow. she's in the car with Leon, so you're not going to do that. Ah, uh, true. So yeah, you guys are able to feed, and uh, okay. there's no attacking you guys want to do. Yeah, the tension in the van is like, uh, you know, turn up that Mexican radio. Like <laughs> All right. Abigail's uh -huh. mad at Hassan, Hassan's mad at Joseph, Jean's just mad at everybody, as usual. Alright. 
So you guys arrive uh, at the club, and it is located in a sort of low-rent, um, one of the French-dominated districts of Montreal. And uh, it looks kind of like a slum. Well, that's where a fight club would be, I guess. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. And uh, yeah, Joseph can take you, Josephine, sorry. Joseph. Uh, can take you right, right there. And uh, as you guys approach, it's in an alleyway, and you can see there is someone who looks like a bouncer out front. Alrighty. So he knows the password, right, Josephine? Um, well, he knows the guy. Oh, but he looks like Josephine. But that's the problem, is that he is a woman now. That is a rather large problem, I would say. Whoa, that's an awesome smiles. Come on. Well, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just walk up to him. I greet him. And, uh... Hold on, how many people are around me? Um, well, there is your pack. So, and then plus Abigail. So all together, that's, uh, five people. Oh, it's just them? There's like no other... other humans. Lurking. Not right now. People kind of come in like one at a time usually. It's not like there's a line outside. Oh, okay. Well, this dude's just about to get dominated. <laughs> okay. You go up, you greet him. What do you say? Um, hello. Uh, I am. Hmm, how do I? Huh. You like dude medicine? I mean, it's what? What year is it? Like twenty some, twenty seventeen, twenty eight? Yeah, it's I mean, like, it's, it's current day. It's current day. It's current day. Okay, I'll tell him I got a sex change. So <laughs> we can. <laughs> nice. You are free to use whatever bathroom you want, Stallworth. <laughs> <laughs> Like, so I, I love this. So hey, I'm a woman now. Let me in. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna try that. <laughs> All right. Yes. Give me a oh, manipulation good. plus a subterfuge. He's got an enchanted. Voice. That is seven. Yes, and I also have the enchanted voice. All right. So, uh, he looks at you, and he clearly doesn't recognize you, but he also seems kind of awkward, like he, he's had the body language of someone who, when you've met someone that you should know, because, like, they're coming up and talking to you, but you have no idea who they are. He's like, oh, right on. Are these guys with you? Yeah. All right. So, uh, kind of looks you guys all up and down, and goes, "All right, you can head in." Thanks. Where do the fighters go? Wait, I know this already. What am I saying? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you know where the, the locker rooms are in this place. You know your sire's gonna. Show up looking like you, right? Unless he's Unless... Out that you're. I don't know, but he should Thank probably you. stay in. Well, if he figured out that I'm a woman. To be fair, you don't even like... look like. Even if he had someone like an ally at the ritual, um, you could have still. The way you screwed up the appearance, you don't look like you did at that time. Yeah. So, so we're gonna be. So we need to. I don't know that we want to broadcast that you're here, actually. If we just want to mingle in the crowd looking for what you used to look like so that we can because what is our plan here i guess maybe we should have thought of this before it's one of those preparation things that i was hoping you guys would bring capture up capture saint Castine? that's like our overarching mission right to get this guy that has been something the bishop has wanted you to do for some time so i mean we need to come up with now that we've seen the lay of the land right what we should come up with a plan to capture St. Castine, we're going to assume he's going to show up here looking like the old Joseph. By the way, how much blood did we all get before? Two each. 
I was hoping for a bit more, but okay. So, uh... So, yeah. So, what's the plan here, guys? Knock him out, bring him back. Are you... Ready? Yeah, I don't know. Do we, do we take out the challenger, the Fight Club challenger? A vicissitude stalwart the gag to look like him. So yes, the absolutely. During the match, and he fights Saint Castine in a cage match. This is really reminding me of like Hitman missions, where you have no, the first time you have no idea what you're doing, and you're just kind of trying stuff, yeah. and you end up in ludicrous situations very with the much worst what this disguises. Is. This is very. Much <laughs> I'm just not sure how it's turning out. How this will end with you killing the guy you're trying to kill. But uh, anyway, so there's so that's one option. That's one option. I'm just throwing that is one crazy option. Is the disguise him as the competitor and kill a man in the ring assassination well, method. Well, it'd be good for business. I mean, this is fight club, yeah. right? I think it counts as an accident for your silent assassin, so. Yeah. yeah. So, um. Okay, so that's option one. Option two, I guess, we could try and take him down before, you know, as soon as he arrives. We just like swoop and just wreck his ass and just wreck his ass um I, he is an infernalist correct we have yeah you have strong suspicions so i mean we're gonna get demon powers and and everybody's here gonna die but that's okay they came to fight club they're immoral <laughs> bastards anyway um so i don't feel bad because they're already corrupted they're at fight club all right i can kill them now as all right anyway they can be collateral damage. Well, it's only that. unnecessary death that's a problem with the Cathari. Right, because so you, right, but these guys they are, die in okay. fi the middle of the fight. Right. That but whatever. they they are corrupted too, and I'm feeling good about that too. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, so so that's option two. Uh, if anybody you know has any, um, you can feel free to throw out any ideas. I mean, yeah. I think basically try to find Saint Castine wherever he is inside here. Keep an eye on him for whenever the perfect moment is and capitalize on it. It might fight. Alright. So you guys are trying to stay under wraps. You do know that assuming <coughs> that the version of Joseph that showed up at that ritual he wouldn't know what Leon looks like, but he would know what Jean and Hassan look like. Think I've seen one? <laughs> yeah. Yes, if you're assuming he, or at least his ally, was the one masquerading as Remember Joseph, when, Joseph and during, Joseph when you guys went ran the, the gauntlet. gauntlet. And Joseph almost died. And Hassan realized that... Yeah, I recall that. Hassan had fortitude or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, Hassan saved him. Oh, it. yeah. Bad mistake, as it turns out. Uh, yeah, my bad. My worst mistake so far. <laughs> Not your worst <laughs> mistake, but your second worst mistake. Uh, I don't know what I said. Mm. I don't know what I said. <laughs> anyway, so just bear that in mind. All right. Okay, so do I disguise everybody? Make them all into women. <laughs> The ultimate yeah. plan. Do we, do we, uh, so you want me to vicissitude you and disguise you, or do you want to be the two guys that he recognizes? Realize the jig is up, and then the rest of us are behind him. Well, also, I mean, that's well, not Well, I could just stay outside and keep the car running. You could just stay outside and keep the, you are very good at that. I can provide, you know. can obfuscate, and the rest of us he won't recognize. That's true. You could do it like that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh, Same. that's good because, you know, if he flees the building, you'll need me in the car. Yep, that's yep. a good point. Yep. All right. So you're staying outside? I fucking love my job. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He's, he's, Jean's now, insane from the Mexican radio. Is Abigail staying out in the car with Jean? No, she is not. <laughs> okay. What? You don't I'm trust person. me? <laughs> I'm per No, I don't. <laughs> really? <laughs> Yes, really. He doesn't trust your evilness. He doesn't trust your competence. Yeah, you've got her clone killed. Oh, yeah. Because, because 
because you're you're an infernalist. Tassana doesn't trust you because you no. let Abigail die, and then he killed no. you. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. Alright. So the rest of you head in. Um alright. <laughs> okay. So you guys are in the club. Um, you guys are hanging out, and uh, Josephine, you are familiar with a lot of the people here, and you recognize Emil, who is the guy who sent you the email. He's organizing things. Um, he doesn't seem to recognize you. Okay, do you see Joseph anywhere? Um, but you do not see Joseph anywhere. Where would the fighters go if they, do they have a um, they, There is a back uh, sort of locker room, and there is a back entrance. Probably woman would be, um, well, uh, uh, have someone's obfuscated. Have him go in. Check the, uh, check the locker room. Sure. All right. So. Is Joseph in there? Yeah, you, uh, check it out. Um, you do not Without, see... like, getting into um, the room itself, I'll just sort of look inside. Yeah, you can, um, you see a lot of dicks, but you do not see Joseph. A lot of naked men oh. I will head outside and tell them that. Do you actually say you saw a lot of dicks, but not Joseph? <laughs> I found many penises. Oh, I'll call her Abigail somehow. I won't. I won't tell her that. Oh yes, right. So Keeping it PG thirteen. That you murdered. PG thirteen. <laughs> That's gonna be like the end of any Abigail, mm -hmm. whatever. Yeah. Ah, the girl that you murdered. All right. So as you guys are kind of uh, discussing that, do it while he's doing while he's going off. Do any either of you want to do anything special? Check out the place. What's uh, who do I see? What do I? Is it is it a big cage match in the middle? Pretty much, okay. yeah. Okay. Um, you can give me a perception plus streetwise. Uh, three. Okay. Yep. Does anybody look shifty? Uh, yeah, all of them look shifty. They're at an underground fight club. They're at a street fight. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, you're kind of looking around, looking for any trouble. It doesn't look like there are, like, some gang members and stuff, but you don't see anyone who looks like they're about to cause trouble here. Okay. Um, and it does seem to be bringing in quite a bit of money. It seems quite lucrative. In case you wanted favorite. to kill someone and rob them, you know. Who, who's mm. the favorite here? Um, well, there are a lot of different fights. Um, so, Joseph Ean, is there anything you want to do? Um, so, you said, so you said that there's people here with money. Wow. Yes, uh, um, Emil is the one taking the bets. I see. Mm, well, I'll keep in mind robbing him later. Yeah, let's not cause a ruckus right now. <laughs> yeah. Joseph gives yeah, up the mission to get revenge on his sire see, just for okay, the instant I, I gratification I of. I see, I see Joseph. <laughs> I look want over that money. Emil and start beelining over there, reach out a hand. <laughs> We are not going to create a ruckus right now. <laughs> but when the shit goes <laughs> down, check his body and grab We're the couch. Ah, I have an idea. idea. <clears throat> you know my sire is an infernalist, correct? You yes. strongly suspect it, yes. Well, can't we get, uh, Auspex, uh, John to take a look to see if he's noticing the infer infernalist or um, you can only tell that someone is has an infernalist aura when they're using infernal powers. Damn. Now here's the thing. We could bring Jean and have him sense the sin. Now sensing the sin would absolutely work. <laughs> <laughs> well, take one for the team, John. No, it wouldn't. That's not how the sin works. Yeah, it does. You could sense that he was an infernalist. Yeah, infernalism is the sin. most pressing sin. Yeah, I, the, the infernalism the also stands out with, with Auspex. Only when they're using the powers. Only when they're using the powers. Mm, whereas... when, only so when they're using it. 
So, yeah, so as someone, someone would have watched you Hellfire while you were sensing you. the sin. Right. So usually the aura. power, usually the power is the clue that they're the <laughs> But you also, if you were looking at them with Auspex at the moment that they are incinerating you, you would see that <laughs> there they are were there are some more subtle powers. Like there are some dark thaumaturgy powers that. Uh, you can't necessarily there tell it happening. There is the sensing the sin power. There is sensing the sin. If you were, <laughs> if, if you, you saw someone sense someone, the sin with Auspex, you, you would tell. If you were someone sensing the sin, you would know. Well, that's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that's going on. If I if I do look around with Auspex, like in the building and around the, around the building, do uh -huh. I see anything? Yes, so give me a perception plus empathy. Seven with a specialty. Uh, you see a couple of people heading down to enter into uh, the club, which are definitely vampires. Um, and then looking closer at them, uh, you can see that it looks like Joseph and St. Castine. Hmm. Wait, what? Joseph and St. Castine. Well, this will be interesting. Do you want to text us on our phones? And then you I also, will. you saw them breaking up with another guy uh, who is going around, who goes the other way, who also has a vampiric aura. But he is, he's not going inside. They were together, and then when you notice them, not as the moment you notice them, but you saw them together, and then just a few seconds later, Josephine St. Castine went one way, and the other man went the other way. So he's not. He's not. I feel like the, the other man is the real St. Castine. <laughs> Probably, but uh, in character, we have no idea. Oh, oh yes, in character, I have no clue. So this was probably all a ruse within a ruse within a ruse, right? St. Castine made the guy forget the old, the new uh, email address so that he knew he would, and then planted the suggestion, oh, use the old email address to lure you down there so that he could set a trap for us. But we have no idea that's happening in character. You know, we could just leave. We don't understand that's what's happening in character. Uh, could, I, could I have been uh, recording or taking pictures? Yeah, you could take a picture of us. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll do that and well, stuff. I was and say, I'll look just... through the lens of your camera. Do you see him? Is he actually La Sombra? It's true. Because it's a good you point. can't take a picture of a La Sombra. That is do actually that. a very good point. Um... <laughs> let so me let me check my up... list of things that which person is which. <laughs> so, if you take a picture of them, and Joseph and Saint uh -huh. Castine show up, you know they're not La Sombra, so they can't actually be Joseph or Saint Castine. You can see Saint <laughs> Castine, and you can see the man who walked the other way in the picture, but you cannot see Joseph. Oh yes. All right. I'm excited. I'm gonna beat Joseph ass. So, uh, so wait, all three of those guys are out of the actual Joseph. You cut out. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah. Yep. So, all... Uh, they all cut <laughs> out again. Oh my god. <laughs> an actual Stalworth is in. Oh my god. Oh boy. Okay. All right, we'll wait for David to come back for real. And for real, and for being. All right. Okay. David? No, he probably like had to restart or something. This is that good shit. How about now? There we, there go. we go. Hello. Okay. So, uh, so all three of those guys are outside. Oh my god. Oh, fuck's <laughs> sake. I can hear you just fine. All right. Oh my god. Try it now. I don't want to say it. <laughs> <laughs> just say <laughs> Sobek's name already. That's the problem. Is clearly, every time he cut out, he was the about. Sentence is making it happen. <laughs> So all three guys are outside. Okay, Any so of them still back? And then... outside, but Josephine, actual Star Wars, is still inside. Yes. Yes. Okay. That's all I wanted to ask. Okay. Oh my God, that took forever. <laughs> so are you letting them know that they're going inside, or are you just keeping this little information to yourself? No, I'm sending them the picture followed with an explanation that a guy who looks like Joseph is invisible and whatnot. 
and they're coming in. Okay, so I should be able to see him with the level two obfuscate, shouldn't I? You can't see anything with level two obfuscate. Yeah. You well, can't. if he's obfuscated, you can see someone who's also obfuscated. No. No. Is that how it works? You can see someone with the same level you have. I only aspects can see through obfuscate. You're. You could obfuscate. You could. There could be two obfuscate people in the exact same room, and neither of them would know each other. I was certain this obfuscate like... also let you see obfuscate. No. Nope. This isn't like primary school where you're like I'm invisible. <laughs> I'm invisible too, so I can see you. <laughs> that is not how it works. I was absolutely certain I wanted to let you do that. In fact, one of the derangements that people get uh, for using obfuscate too much in the Dark Ages is that they start worrying that there's always someone else obfuscated somewhere around them that they can't see. Huh. Which is a pretty cool derangement, actually. That, that would be kind of funny. But, uh... I don't know if I'd call it cool, but... <laughs> It's an interesting character quirk. It's fashionable. Interesting, yes. To be fair, if you knew that there were people that could become invisible, you'd be worried about invisible oh, yeah, people I, all the time. I, I currently, right now, just thinking about it, am concerned <laughs> that somebody may be. You could never masturbate uh, in peace. Certainly not. Oh, you probably don't know me. I, yeah, I was going to say, yeah, you could probably. <laughs> A normal person couldn't masturbate yeah, there in you peace. Go, there you go. There we go. All right. So, yeah, you guys get the heads up that. Uh, Joseph and... Alright, so... Okay, so we're on alert. Looking around. Alright, so... After you send the message, uh... Give me a second. To look something up. This is how we die. Oh yeah. This is the last one. Alright. So yeah, you see them uh, go off... John, so after you send the message, what is it that you do? Is at the end of the text message, I'll have the engine running out front. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the engine, the last entry would be, I'm going in. And then you just hear an engine <laughs> oh, revving and then go. yelling the above ground. <laughs> We're just killing time until David. Yeah, until David decides to show up. Is what that works. So, John, what do you do right after here. you send the message? Uh, oh, well, uh. Hmm. I mean, I'd arouse suspicion if I did anything but stay in the car, right? That's true. They went into the building. Did all three of them go into the building? No, only two of them went. The other guy went the other way. Oh, okay. I guess I should try follow the other guy. Are you. you... Don't I'll ask my team if I should follow the other guy. Don't take the van. Uh, you are starting to lose track of him. So as you're sending the message, you kind of need to start moving in a direction. You could always come back, I guess, if you got a refusal, but you're going to have to start moving after him. I will start moving after I text them. In the car, or are you going to go on foot? On foot. Might notice a van following him <laughs> down the road. I mean, yeah. With Mexican so... radio playing at the top. <laughs> Slowly walking pace, driving behind yeah. him. No, I will. I will have to get out of the car. I will. I will. You know, properly close the keys out and whatnot. All right. Locked up the van. Lock it up. Okay. I will start to try to stop the people we'll behind. Happen. At least it won't be stolen, and, I guess. Yeah, and I will prepare a point of celerity. Okay. And yeah, I'll try to stealth behind this guy and track him with aspects. Okay. So, uh, meanwhile, no you guys... Way. Can I confirm? <laughs> Did I spot him because he was with the other two? Yes. Okay, so he does have some actual connection with the other two guys. Yes, it does seem like it. Unless they were just... He was just another vampire with aspects, saw two other vampires, was like, Hey, what's going on? and then walked away, which is also possible. What are the chances of that? Well... <laughs> Go ahead, It, it is very possible he has aspects, that's for sure. He's a vampire he here, that's me. suspicious enough. <laughs> yeah, and he was talking with... Uh, yeah, it's suspicious enough that, you know, I could see that you would follow him, just to see. Yeah, whatever. So, yeah, I'll follow him, but I'm, I still sent you... because I want, I want your permission. Okay. So you guys get the text messages, and then you also get the other one from him asking, can I go after him? Or should I go after him? 
Well, I'd say be careful. Yeah, Yeah, I would go ahead, but be careful because if he turns and, I mean, you're going to be on your own. Cool. All right. Sean feels like he's contributing. (laughs) Oh, boy. (laughs) All right. That must be a first. So. Sure, yeah. I'll have my phone on record in my pocket the whole time. Oh, good. Nice. All right, and then you guys see Joseph and St. Castine enter the fight club together. All right, all right, all right. There they are. What do we do? Do we take them now? There are a bunch of other people here. I will remind you guys of that. How are we going to get them outside? I say we just walk up and say, hello, St. Castine. And then we take them outside. (laughs) <laughs> we hope they come with us. And we hope they just come with us. Hold up. So, you sent us a text. You sent us... <coughs> Excuse me. You sent us a text telling us that, uh... That that might not be St. Castine, though, right? Um, from the... From the picture... From the picture, it suggests that, uh, if St. Castine is one of them, he's probably Joseph. Right. St. Castine can't be St. Castine. That's why we have to go up to Joseph, like, get his arms, mm-hmm. and just turn him around say, why don't you come with us, St. Castine, so mm-hmm. he understands, we know, we know what he is, what he's doing, whatever. We'll get him out. We'll get him out. Uh, then we beat him up. Then we, hopefully, Jean's back. I feel like that's too simple, though. Oh, it is. It's way too simple, but what else are we going to do? What, what's your plan? <laughs> I'm, I'm open. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You know, I might go, no. Actually, let me ask. uh, He's my sire, so he's probably better at all the shit I can do, right? Probably, yes. You can't dominate him. He's a generation above you. Yeah, you cannot dominate him. Okay. He will dominate you. In that case, I'll just make sure not to look into his eyes. (laughs) And, uh, uh, yeah, we're going to take him outside. All right. I I feel like we need to get him out of these people. Okay. That's my... So that uh, I will okay. make an attempt. And Hassan, you are going to continue to follow Obfuscated? Yeah. All right. Well, I'm still going to be trying to stay hidden so he can't see me if he has Obfuscated. If he has a uh, Moss Picks. Okay. So. Uh, all right. So you guys, you two, go up, kind of grab Joseph. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Say... So Come with us, St. Castine. And I'll steer him. St. Castine is my sire. But I will come with you regardless. You think he's so <laughs> <laughs> Alright. And so Hassan, you see them going up out of the club. Uh it is Leon. Leon Josephine. And Josephine. And St. Castine in the middle we got him And Joseph, you know. Slash St. Castine in the middle, we're just going to assume. Uh, uh-huh. So what do you do? I suppose so for now, I'll keep watch over them, make sure nothing happens. All right, you are going to have to leave the club. And the other guy didn't right, I'll take care of Abigail as well. Seat. Make sure I'll make her she follows as well. Up on the picture, pretty sure he's not All right. You're going to have to break Obfuscate if you want to get her attention and get her to follow you. I suppose I do. Yeah, that's right. Uh, <laughs> Damn it. <yeah. laughs> Fuck. Being was, she yeah. not, was she not standing with us when we made up the plan to go spin him around? Where yeah, she, she would be. I mean, she was there. She, You guys kind of just ignored her and then walked off. To go over, I feel, I feel like we we had the discussion of let's go over, turn around, get him out of the people. I feel like she was there. You were mostly focused on we, Joseph, uh, Josephine. You were not. You did I, not mention looking after mention Abigail. I didn't mention Hassan either. It's true. But you assume she's part of the pack now. I well, I'm, like I'm I didn't assume there. that. I said Hassan. You see them taking him off. I thought we were all in a group together. If you want to That's remember bad. Abigail and motion for her to follow you, you can. Yeah, I, w- I would assume. Yeah, of course we would. I, I, okay. I want the whole pack out there. All right. I'm just like, saying oh, that. I want to take on St. Castine myself. I'm saying that's what you have to do. She did not follow you. You okay. have to wave her over. Well, I will indicate that everybody should come. Okay. 
Okay, so is Abigail following without me breaking off yes. his gate? Yes. Okay, in that case, I will follow. All right. So, uh, Jean. Uh, you see he goes off, you see he goes across a street, the man you're following, and he heads into an alley. It's kind of hoping David would be here. No, well, if I think you can hear him in the background. Yeah, well, we can hear the oh, arguing, so obviously. Sorry. Having dinner. Having dinner. Oh, sorry. Something, sorry. Just, something just came to mind. He's having dinner. Uh-huh. He's making his family happy. He's what if? Doing it. What if Saint Castine isn't actually here? What if he just created <laughs> a new child and then they the, got someone to make the child look awesome. like? Look like you, and I, I, I know it's going to be a more tangled web than what we've got here. I'd be so surprised to find out that Joseph was actually, that there was a La Sombra in that group somewhere. All right, so uh, it sounds like David's back. So like I said, yeah. uh, you were following the guy. He crossed the street. You did get textual permission to go after him. Um, he okay. goes into an alley, and then... You can see his aura in the alley. It seems to have stopped there. So Joseph's text was, do it. Um, Hassan was fine. And Leon was, uh, be careful. <laughs> well, thanks, Leon. Appreciate it. There are uh, also, um, there is another uh, aura in that alley, although it looks human to you. It's your wife. <laughs> oh my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> That would be very funny. Feelers, right. Haru, drinking, so, drinking vampiric blood. So first off, I'm pleased to announce that the family has decided to get the box fixed for the internet. Okay. <laughs> After that last outage. That was what the argument was about. Okay, is that what the argument was? You read down there, my friends can't hear me. <laughs> yeah. I can't pretend to be a vampire online. This has to stop. Yeah. <laughs> <For fuck's sake. laughs> exactly. I'm glad you understand, Miles. Now, back to pretend to be now, a vampire. Yeah. What do you do? All right, well, let's see. I am Jean Noir, proud French Canadian vampire. Uh, I, I suppose. <laughs> I think. I think proud <laughs> French isn't that a contradiction in terms, though? French Canadian. Um, for all, so using aspects from how far away could I listen in on their conversation? Um, you could listen to it from where you are. Mm, so I'm on the other opposite side of a street, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so well, you are you're out... right at the mouth of the alley at this point. You did have to sneak up okay. that close, but you're not okay. in the alley yet. All right. Hmm. Well, that's all well and good up until when the conversation ends. Mm-hmm. So let's see. Is Looking around, is there anything that I could do to make me not stand out? Um, there is a lot of snow around. Okay. Um, there are some cars occasionally going by. The street looks pretty deserted. There's not, I mean, there's some trash cans around. Mm-hmm. That's pretty much all you see. Okay. Uh, all right, then. I suppose I will just... Mm. Guns blazing. I don't... Did the guy never looked into my car or anything, did he? Um, you didn't see that happen, no. Okay, well... I guess I'll just have to try to tell when the conversation's about to end and start walking away and look casual. Okay. If all else fails, I have os- I have celerity charged. Okay, you start listening. Uh, yeah, would it be possible for me to poke the camera of my phone around to see who the person they're talking to is? Yes, you could try and do that. I will attempt to do Give that. Give me a dexterity in. plus stealth. So here's the part where you find out Jean actually has some stealth. <laughs> it's four. Uh-huh. Uh, all right, wow. one dot. Very, huh? awesome. Very good. Classic move. All right. You know what? Fuck you. Give me a dexterity plus streetwise then. <laughs> My friend. <laughs> <laughs> that is most unfair. All right. So you try and poke your phone around 
and you can see, like, just like the camera part, and you're trying to look at the screen to see what's there. Like a periscope. Mm. It's too bad you don't have a selfie stick. Uh, Indeed. Just get one of those. <laughs> well, I mean, idea. I'll just, Note to like... Self, I, selfie stick for Sean. I would, I would like to just quickly peek, like, you know, the tip with the camera and out... Okay. Take a picture and then pull it back quickly, you know? All right. Not not look at it. Do the flash so that... Yeah. <laughs> I would like to turn off the flash. It's very important. All right. And I would like to mute it as well. So it doesn't <laughs> make say, because you know it's going to make the shutter sound. I, yeah, I'd like to it's make to sure... It's to let you know the picture's like... been taken. Consumers request that. I would like to put my phone into stealth mode before doing it. <laughs> and I would like to take it, you know, like... From below or whatever, not a head height, so it looks, you know, it would be very unlucky that they're looking in that area. Haru has all these, like, fun little, like, pictures on her phone and, like, these sound effects that play for different things. <laughs> Jean says nothing. She always asks about it. He's like, no, I can't risk it. It's on vibrate at all times. <laughs> it's on silent. I don't need your hipster indie pop. <laughs> Mm-hmm. All right. So, um, you do that. Uh, you do not hear any conversation. And uh, when you look at the picture, you can see that it is uh, the person who is holding uh, another individual up by the throat. That person looks dazed, possibly knocked out or dominated, and is just kind of hanging limply. And they seem to be doing... Well, it's only just a picture, so you can't really tell what's happening beyond that. Well, I think it's obvious he's feeding. Well. Okay. Is this the part where I'm supposed to be conflicted and consider saving the person? I mean, if you choose to make it that part, then yes. Otherwise, it's the part where you run away and live. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say, or you, it's the part where you realize total <laughs> redemption I have to face You're and right. I'm gonna let it happen. <laughs> Okay, so I need to learn fun. from this experience of cowardice. Of cowardice <laughs> that maybe the nocturnal redemption is a good path. I will me. redeem myself later. <laughs> well, no, he, he's supposed to like be, he's in he's in the divine side, yeah, right? Exactly. So he's supposed I don't know, to yeah. Himself. Is does does nocturnal redemption require me to step in at a moment like this? Um, not necessarily. I mean, it's a sin for you not to. At step higher in. levels, you might have to step in, but not really right now. As long as you're trying to learn from your cowardice. <laughs> Indeed. Well. Zoinks! Uh, I'm not going in there. <laughs> <laughs> Spooky. Spooky. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. I guess I'll pull back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll I'll keep an eye on. Can I keep keep an eye on the aura for when he comes back out to see where he goes next? Uh, yeah, you can watch the aura. Uh, after a little right. bit, you hear a whisper from inside the alley, which says, "Come closer." Well, now we know that he's freshly fed and full of blood. Does it does it sound like he has moved closer to the entrance where I am? <laughs> no, it seems like he's right where he is, and he's saying, "Come closer." So you see his aura. Right where he was when I took the picture. Right where he was where he, when you took the picture. He hasn't moved. All right. Well, I'm not fucking moving. <laughs> he tells you, <laughs> "I'm waiting." He tells me. He? <laughs> you don't know who else he could be telling. Maybe the limp body he's holding. <laughs> yeah, that aura's gone out. No, it's still there. Oh, it's still there. I will bravely step forward. He says. I really want him to go. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> my friends. <laughs> I'm Jean Noir, proud French Canadian. <laughs> Bonjour, monsieur. <laughs> Je suis. That's how Jean, Jean Noir. <laughs> it's, it's how Jean I just like this in French. He speaks with them in French. <laughs> well, one I assume, second, unless second. you guys are talking to Hassan, I always assume you guys are talking in French. <laughs> one second. 
All right. All right, all right. Oh, a bi- oh, right. A bitch is a she and That makes sense. <laughs> all right. So you step in and he says, wait, take out your weapon and throw it over here. Well, why? <laughs> because if you don't, I'll kill this person. Oh. Well, if you throw your weapon, then you have no way to stop him from killing the person. I will point this out to them. <laughs> <laughs> nah, joking. <laughs> I will say, all right then. Okay. I will do so. I'll, I'll comply. You throw over the Glock? Yeah, sure. All right. I still have celerity prepared so I can bravely run away. <laughs> all right. Now he says, right, come rocking. closer. I really have to kill myself for this person. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could no, run away right don't. now. He's telling you to come closer, though. I'm Why did you give him your weapon? I, I, Jean does feel obligated, I guess. All right. And Jean's kind of dumb, guys. You know. <laughs> You're. You only have to justify this to yourself. He's smart enough to know all about stealth mode, but God, how are you a dumb computer programmer? <laughs> he's he does he's not worldly wise. Oh, okay. He's got a lot of book smarts, but he's naive. Yeah. He's naive is what you're saying. He's conflicted. That's true. All right, you should sense this All right, guy. Whatever. Sin. Uh, I'll step forward. All right. Wait, what do I see in Zara? What do I see in Zara? Um, he seems pretty pleased with himself. Wow. Okay. Well. Step forward, what happens? Alright. So as you're coming into the alley, he... Oh, and I'm not looking into his eyes and shit. <laughs> okay. He drops the human, and from beneath his trench coat, uh, pulls out a shotgun, which he points in your direction. And he says, just, you know, keep coming closer. Hmm. Mate. <laughs> Alright, whatever, this is dumb. <laughs> I'm just gonna celerity run away. <laughs> You're gonna try and do that? He's right. already got the gun on you, at this, the gun on you at this point. This is the worst possible way this could have gone. Yeah, well, I'm pretty bad at this game. <laughs> yeah, we all are. You might have to talk, but still. So, are you gonna try and run? He will get a shot off on you. Just go with oh. it. Just go with it. You're gonna be, like, captured somewhere. But if he wanted to yes. die, he would have done it already. That's not true. He wants me to get closer so he gets a better shot in his shotgun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's got it now. I mean, he could have taken it. He's got a pretty really good shot on you. It seems like, like he could start firing at any point. Hey, come closer. So, he seems know. to be taking you captive, if anything. Yeah, I was going to say, right, if fine. he wanted to kill you, it would have been done by now. All right. It would have been done when you weren't thought you were safe over on the other side of the street. We're just like, bam. All right, fine. All right. So, says now, I think you know what this is loaded with, so I hope we're not going to have any problems. Yes, sir. All right. I want you to call up your friends. Okay. All right, so you guys. Send us text ready. So you guys are out uh, with uh, in the alleyway. In the alley. With Joseph, when you guys, who is it that you're gonna call? Uh, Leon. All right, so Leon, your phone rings. All right, I will look at it. It's John. Yeah. All right. He says, "Tell them uh, to send over." Joseph, if they want to see you again. Both of them. Both of the Josephs. Leon, I need you to come to me with both of the Josephs, or else I'll die. Oh. Respect for sure, it's just skyrocketing. I will get the phone. Apparently, Jean's been captured. <laughs> and we need to turn over both of the Josephs 
in order for him to be okay. I'll save us over to my to Abigail to Hassan, who I'm going to assume is behind us, uh, and to mm -hmm. and to Josephine. By both of Josephs, I am going to assume he means the Joseph that we are holding and the Saint Castine in the club. You can confirm that if you want to. So Do you wanna ask? Yeah, so I'll ask that. So you mean you mean the Joseph we have and his the Saint Castine? I mean my Joseph and I mean your Joseph. Alright. I mean his that Joseph weird man lady. Yeah, his Joseph and our Joseph. So, I guess. Okay. All right. So. I was I very we'll intolerant of him. Um. So, <laughs> where are we? Where are you? He gives you directions, right. um, and he will try and set up a situation where basically you're going to be on either side of the street. He will send John walking towards you, and then you guys will send Joseph and Josephine walking towards him. While he has you guys under observation with his firearm. This is great. We're getting rid of Josephine. <laughs> <laughs> now, you haven't gotten necessarily... This is what he basically lays out for you. You right. have to justify this to Josephine now. <laughs> well, I'm going to be like... Well, Leon you know, doesn't have to tell the truth do? to everyone else. You know else. what I'm going to do? I'm going to be like... Don't tell the truth. I'll call you back. And I hang up. So, I'm going to look over at Josephine <laughs> and explain the situation. Lie. So. <laughs> Lie. There's no way he'll sacrifice himself. Lie. <laughs> <laughs> well, I no, I don't think you understand, Jean. You're an infernalist. I know <laughs> oh, this. Oh no. Nah. I'm wondering if you're in league with this. That this oh, is some no. plot. We have Joseph. We have Jean go off, and all of a sudden. <laughs> we get a message that, oh, he's been kidnapped, or captured. I'm just incompetent. <laughs> oh, no. So... I, li I literally told you I'm an infernalist. Mm-hmm. You are. I can't I'm, I'm not an infernalist. I'm not actually an infernalist. I was just given Daemonian. <laughs> <laughs> you call her back anyway. up, like, I'm worried you're not taking this seriously. <laughs> um, so. like, an actual infernalist would, number one, use Daemonian, number two, not tell you about <laughs> it. Well, you may be doing that. Unless you're doing a double bluff. I mean, yeah, you're like, you're no, like, oh yeah, dumb. I have Daemonian. Mm. I don't know that you're not using it. I'm assuming you are. <laughs> no, that's dumb. Why would I tell you? To try and lull me into a sense of like, oh yeah, Leon, you're but in you my confidence. No, no you're me. like, oh no, it was given to me. Uh, whatever. But you had no suspicion of me having <laughs> Daemonian in the first place. Why would I out myself? I don't know. That's not you what are that's not how <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there is sort of this. That's what Leon is conflicted. <laughs> Leon's conflicted right now. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because, my, yes. my conclusions are fucking dumb. So conflicting. <laughs> so. So, no, she's conflict- or he's conflicted right now because yes, yes, Jean is incompetent. That is true. Yes, Jean Ooh, also may be an infernalist. Like, so which one? Is it that Jean was incompetent and got captured? Or is Jean actually just some sort of brilliant There is infernalist? absolutely- no, absolutely- logically, <laughs> there's absolutely no fucking way that an infernalist would actually tell you the way I did. So no fucking way. So what you're saying, what you're doing here, David, is you are arguing that Jean is incompetent. <laughs> <laughs> so incompetent. Now like, save me! No, this is the most rational conclusion. No, Jean is just a fucking idiot. Well, it's he's not that not, I'm an idiot, it's just that this guy <laughs> was better at sneaking than me or whatever. All right. So, so... So what are you... All right, so what are you and Joseph doing? Anyway, so I'm gonna be like... Okay. Okay. What, I, how do I lie about that? I just, I don't really know how to lie. <laughs> hey, but... Joseph, ch check over that side of the street. So here, so... <laughs> just be like, just be like, we gotta go save Jean, save Jean and like, just leave it at that. Just leave it at that. We've got St. Castine in the middle of It's a hostage thing, transfer. So it's like, oh, whoops, can't do this now. We gotta go save Jean. No, no, no. no here's what but you we do. gotta bring him with us. He's not gonna wanna come with us. Yeah, he is. 
Anyway, you're so what are you telling here. Joseph? Anyway, so I've hung up the phone. All right. right? You, yeah, so already. I, yeah. Just, that's just that was that. all a spiritual so argument. That was all, yeah, this is just John still yelling into the phone. God damn you, Leo. God damn you. Get Joseph. No, lie. Lie. Bring lie. Joseph over here. I can't believe you're going to tell Joseph the truth. Like, I'm, I'm ser- seriously like... Joseph, of all people, you think you can't lie to Joseph. Is gonna make he hasn't decision. seen the video. <laughs> doesn't, yeah. She doesn't matter. She knows Joseph means it comes. Yeah, but he hasn't seen the video. I actually she like. Matter. She okay, Sean, here's another problem: the vinculum. The vinculum. Okay, you know the million other ways he's a cunt. Yeah, well, you've got a vinculum on me as well. It's I not. It's not so it's well. Like at four. All right, you're at four. I am, I am, I think at nine or ten for, for Joseph. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Possibly an infernalist, most likely just the most incompetent. All right, all right. So what are you telling Joseph? David, you're not part of this. (laughs) You're not part of this. What are you telling Joseph? (laughs) It's after. I am not incompetent. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Well, Larry, you wouldn't have been able to sneak on him. He would have known you were there as well. (laughs) But we wouldn't have dropped a weapon and run over to him. That's true. Uh, just... <laughs> All right. Cunt. What are you saying? And Hassan. Hassan is there as well. Abigail, what are you telling the pack? Uh, Leon. Abigail's not part of our pack, but I'm not Abigail. Now, so I am. I'm. I'm saying she's there. She's there. Yes. So I am incredulous. Just absolutely. This has blown my mind. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I, I don't. I don't know what to do. Obviously, uh, so uh, Jean has been captured. That's what I say. I say uh, Jean's been captured. I'm gonna look at the Joseph guy here by one of Saint Castine's lackeys or something. I don't know. Joseph will take the opportunity to speak up and will say, "We have no quarrel with your pack. Send." My blood brother, with me, and we will deal with the matter. This does not concern the rest so of you. So this was a setup. We were aware of this. I assure you, Saint Castine has considered every angle. Webs within webs within webs. Diabolically evil. He kind of also turns to you, Josephine, and says. You didn't seriously con- think that you could contend with the will of our sire. There are none who can. He is a few seconds away from getting this fucking skull crushed. <laughs> <laughs> I can take the punishment. Jean will still be dead. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh... Wow, you really have to go save John. You sound disappointed. <laughs> Do we? Well, is self-sacrifice a thing for, uh, for Kathari? Not really. No. It's a fucking All right. Set. All right, so I'm gonna need his wife if I save him. <laughs> so so he's gonna owe you something, I see. It will be so yeah, how much trouble would we get into with Yamamoto? If Jean were sacrificed and we took St. Castine in. Yeah, Mimosa would be happy. <laughs> well, here's the thing. Uh, if you let a pack member die, you're going to be upset. He's going to be upset. He's going to be upset, but we got St. Castine. Yeah, that's true. That would soften the blow. And how much does anybody <laughs> really like Sean? <laughs> wow, when I wrote this, I didn't think this was where we would be spending most of the conversating. <laughs> I mean, I know his songs into cold-blooded murder. I thought you would be I'm, like. I'm, I'm sure I thought you guys would be like, Joseph. oh, how can we follow Joseph once they take him? No, it's like, should we just well, fuck I over mean, Jean? You know. Nah, I got faith in you, all. So. That's a mistake. So Let me say that right I'm, now. Just, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna throw it out there. As Leon, I will throw it out there to the pack. Just saying. It's Jean. This is St. Castine. We bring him in. Is John a... Miles, is there anyone in the pack you trust more than me? 
There is not, but I have a not different suggestion. Okay. Would you like for me to go attempt to rescue him? So I'm assuming you break off your skate to talk to us here. Well, yeah. Yeah. Um. Well, that's a good idea. You know, but yeah. that being said, uh, this guy here said that St. Castine thought of every angle. So all it takes some some dude with aspects to, it's you true. know. You don't even know where St. Castine is. Yeah, well, apparently this guy's trying to act like he's not St. Castine. Well, you know what? Uh, how about I just hit him really hard, see if he has any fortitude. And, uh, you know, if he has no fortitude, then we know that's not St. Castine. We could try what if they both have fortitude? Didn't St. Castine like, have really high fortitude, though? Or, well, actually, you don't know that St. Castine has fortitude. You know that the person who was posing as you had fortitude. I was going to say, do we know that we wow. assume that he... But you assume that person Saint was St. Castine. Maybe made a bunch of children then had them all look exactly like you for some <laughs> unknown reason. <laughs> Mistaken wow. identity flaw. Why, why, did I, why did I do this to myself? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know. It's like a one-point flaw. You needed to get that... That, that retainer, <laughs> extra point that, of strength. Yeah, that extra point of strength and that really good retainer that you got that you're terrified of now. <laughs> Slightly, yeah. So, so, um, what are you guys going to do? All right, so I will, um, I'll, I'll leave it up, I'll leave it up to them. I'm like, I will go with whatever plan you guys decide. Uh, really. Kind of... So, anyway. They want to give me and the fake Saint Castine over. Yeah, so pretty much, you know, this one and this one. These two are yeah. going. I, Leon will point out the two people they want. Yes. We'd just be trading one hostage for another at that point. Well, we'd be trading I am two not particular... hostages for one. Yeah. For Jean, our supposed <clears throat> friend. Yeah. Regardless, I'm not a big fan of that plan. Then what are other options? I still think my idea of going to quote unquote rescue him could work if we figure out where he is. I have faith in Hassan's abilities. You shouldn't have. All right. Um. So okay, that's fine too. I guess we'll. Uh... We'll need to figure out where they are first. I have where they are. He told us where. Okay. Oh yeah, right. So sure, sure. Yeah. So you're gonna try and sneak around. I will attempt to do so, and I will use obfuscate, and I will use uh, quiet this when I get in range, and I'm alone. Okay. So you're you guys are you and Abigail are left there with uh, with the two boys with the, with the two. Don't do anything <laughs> now. I am putting a lot of faith in you here. <laughs> I'm surprised no. Hassan is putting this much effort into saving Joseph. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you know, she's I mean, still. If he wants to, that's fine. I mean, that's fine. Well, I mean, really, he's putting effort into saving John because Joseph ain't risking his life. Her <laughs> life. <laughs> well, I mean, you may not have a choice. Shoot, I mean, they try to force like Sean. That's sort of it. So I gotta make a token effort. All right. So, you uh, sneak around, and uh, so he is, you were left with you two. Mm -hmm. And uh, Joseph, the guy who looks like Joseph, starts talking to you two. We're not looking You and his Abigail. Eyes. It's like, yeah. You know, Abigail, don't look in his eyes. <laughs> yeah, definitely tell her not to do that. Mm -hmm. You're going to I some extents for this guy. Yeah. Is that what he says? That's what he says to us. Yeah, I think he and I think Hassan is. Well, wait, I don't. I don't know. I don't know who Hassan is trying to save. If he's trying to save Joseph or if he's trying to save Jean. Seems to me like Joseph. Originally, Joseph has just been a problem for you guys. You know, as long as he's sure with has. you, Saint Castine is gonna have a problem with you. If you just give him over to us, that problem goes away. Why problem solved. So I've been fetching these dudes' blood all the time. Like, come on. It is That's not uh, my business to ask uh, my sire what his mind is. However, it is quite clear, uh, it's, to me at least, that this one 
has betrayed my sire in some fundamental way. It is no secret to me that his name has been drugged through the mud recently among the Sabbat. Okay, so the way Leon remembers things is that we found Joseph while he looked like St. Castine because St. Castine had vicissituted him to look like him so that he could plant him at that uh, like mess up or whatever when everybody when everybody died and he ran away or what he framed joseph to begin with i believe was the story correct it turned out with him framing him although he looked like him for some time before that when they were all in the pack together okay and then but supposedly joseph's story was he was framed for that screw up uh that killed his yes his pack members and we thought saint castine was dead with the pack members but it turns out he wasn't or something i can't remember what exactly happened at the beginning he seems to be he seems to have disappeared you thought he might have been dead maybe but he's not you've pretty much determined so that. so i'm going to assume that's when the betrayal happened or was it since then so hmm. The guy just never it's, liked me. I will me. just point out that the one person that you had who accused, it wasn't Infernalist, but the one who accused St. Castine of being an Infernalist believed that Joseph was St. Castine and Joseph had dominated him. So. Exactly. Why would I dominate someone to tell them that I'm St. Castine? Like, come on. <laughs> Unless it's a double bluff. <laughs> yeah, Joseph yeah. does not right. think that deep. I just, I'm really, I'm really trying to figure oh, out. Oh, really? I thought you said your machinations lay on no Yeah, before <laughs> this point, I would have believed you with any other character. Yeah, but that whole Abigail thing. Um, Look. That was, that was, that was. So, was so, okay, so, so I will, um. You know, I'll pretend to, uh play along or whatever mm -hmm. keep the conversation going so um so he betrayed him how did he i don't know all i can tell is that i know that uh rumors vicious rumors have been spread about my sire i know that they have had a very public falling out i can only assume that this worm is the source of those rumors i don't know why he decided to betray our sire. No doubt he had some perverted reason. Because his sire betrayed the pack, that's why they all died. According to Joseph. According to Joseph. Look, uh, <laughs> fellow uh, clan mate, blood brother, if you keep following him, he is going to betray you too. Look, I don't really care about your best interest, but I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to let you know, know right now. I know you too well to trust you, Joseph. I just wonder if these people feel the same way. So, How do you so, know me? Here's, here's I the know thing. your type. Here's the thing. What is with all the Joseph lookalikes? <laughs> like, Leon's going to be like, but why do you look like a Joseph? It, I just, what's with... What I was made roses? to look like Joseph as part of the plan to lure him here. Yeah, it was specifically for today, I presume. Who does your work? <laughs> just as a <laughs> professional. As a professional. Do you remember the man who looked like Stank Castine? You mean Joseph? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say Joseph. No, the in the club. The man I came oh, in with. Oh, the man you came in with. He's, uh, oh, okay, he does good work. Interesting. So he has vicissitude. Well, I'm going to assume he's a Zemitsi. So, yeah, so, so yeah. what is with all of these ruses, with the looking like Joseph, looking like St. Castine? Joseph is one of the most devious and evil men on the face <laughs> of this planet. <laughs> That's the only quite way... True. St. Castine could outwit him would be with superior guile. It may seem overcomplicated to you, and it would be for almost any other person, except for someone as slippery as this eel. 
Now listen to what he's saying. Listen to what he's I saying. Know, and I don't buy it at all. <laughs> but, Thank you. I mean, I mean, you are evil. That's true. <laughs> well, yes, yeah. yes. But, but not just, so evil that my sire couldn't take me down. Right. Well, th and that's where I'm like, I don't feel like all of these. Yeah, I don't feel. I, also, we're La Sombra. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. It's true. Um, Lysombra have an obsession with how they look. Remember? Yeah, right. So they just... Anyway. It all fits. Um, anyway, lock them I, just, I think this is a really complicated... <laughs> Josephine, like, that is. Joseph lock is her not, He can, like, you know, come up with plans to, like, hurt people, but, like, I, I just feel like this is a way too complicated plan to try and get... So you're going to try and protect him? Well, I didn't say that. Depends on who you mean by protect. This one. Should you protect this Josephine. guy and lock up Josephine. So. Just right now, are you planning on helping him or not? Um, when you try and break free, yes, I will help him. Because All right, cool. Both. And he grabs you by the neck and uh, Abigail and starts ramming you through a nearby wall. I will grab onto him and vicissitude. All right, so, All right, so. give me a dexterity plus brawl. Um. Oh, and you got to Abigail? Yeah, he's got yep. both of them. Uh, six. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll move to stop that. I'm uh, you are already oh, way you're, away you're trying to check on John. You're gone. Because you gotta you oh, have to save me. John. You right. Right. Wait. Wait. Save me. I, I, hey, vicissitude, six. Alright. Alright. So he has, he, has, he has Abigail and Leon, or Abigail, Abigail and Joseph? No, he has Abigail, Abigail and Leon. Ah, okay. Alright. So, give me a uh, strength plus body crafts. Um, that is five. Alright. You deal no damage and it has no effect on him. Wow. Seems like some fortitude. Alright. 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 Um, I'm, I'm, I'm about to lay hands on him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. we'll get to you. <laughs> yeah, we're being crashed through a wall. He has grabbed you, picked you up easily with mm -hmm. both hands, and basically smashed you uh, through a wall, okay. uh, which did create quite a bit of noise. Okay. Um, meanwhile, uh, Josephine, you see uh, a a figure deobfuscate uh, directly. Uh, well, actually, he would have come up behind you, so you don't see him. But you do uh, suddenly hear footsteps behind you and feel a sharp pain in your chest. Oh, God. Alright, so let's see. Alright. So, you feel your body go stiff and limp as you move to try and render aid. Uh, meanwhile, Hassan... You have creeped up behind uh, the the situation, and you found basically Jean being held hostage uh, at shotgun point by a man. All right. So, what are you doing? Thanks. So, yeah, I will try to. So, I have my sword prepared. Mm-hmm. I will activate my, uh, I'm behind him, right? So he can't see me? Yes. Right. In that case, I'll activate quite this one and prepare to strike from behind. Right. Well, I'll attack in a way so that he'll at least lose his aim. Try and attack his arms? Uh, sure. Something like that. Pretty much the only way you're going to be able to really affect his aim. Yeah, sure. I'll attack. Hassan with Auspex? Um, with well, Auspex? It's true. Uh, yes, with Auspex, you could see him approaching you. And it looks like he's about to do violence. Well, so that's bad since obviously uh, that means this guy might also be able to see him. But, but he's behind uh, him. Um, he is he's behind him. eyes in the back of his head. He is keeping I presume, his focus on you. I presume my celerity has run out since before I got captured and stuff. Um... Uh, yeah, I would say it has been long enough. It's run out. Alright. 
I will spend another point to charge it again. All right. And uh, I think I, I think I have a combat knife. Sean's gonna actually try and find. Well, if I did, it wasn't written on my sheet. Does anyone remember me saying I had a knife, or do I just have? I do not remember that. No, I have no. All right. Well, all right. I don't have a knife. We'll have to listen to the recordings. It's just gonna be a fist fight. Well, that'll be, uh, that'll now. be a sad. Like Five something? points in brawl. Some, some sort of board? Is there a weapon in the alley? Um, you could try and look around for a, an improvised weapon, although it would be... Yeah, can I use some celery on my strike before, before we move on? What was that? The sun wants to charge celerity. Alright, yep. All right. So you are attacking. Give me a dexterity plus melee. That would be... Eight, with a specialty in surprise attacks, which I do All believe right. this would count yep. as. I will give it to you. Actually, he's not surprised. That would be surprising if he wasn't. Alright. With an attack roll this good, you are definitely not going to do any damage. Alright. Uh -huh. So, what is your strength uh, plus the damage on your sword? That would be four plus two potents. Okay. Any willpower points spent? Uh, nope, I'm good. All right. I was impressed by how uh, brave Hassan is going into these fights. Like, no, I don't think I need to spend willpower <laughs> when you got your ass kicked by like a human security guard number three. <laughs> yeah. I don't need to win, I just need to make sure that he can escape. That's true. Although, this guy could mm. just turn around and kill you then. Yeah. That's true too. Very true. Look, I made my choice. Yeah. I'm just questioning you, you all. Yeah, yeah I'm sure choice. you are. <laughs> I have Solari ready to run away. Nice. Me too. Yeah, good. Let's, let's fuck off together in separate ways. Wow. Sounds good. You lucked the fuck out. <laughs> he what are you talking about? I planned for He had a shit ton of dice to roll for that uh, soak roll and, uh, like, botched it. Nice. Uh, well, got no successes, at least. Mm-hmm. Um, so you strike downwards, and he shrieks as you basically sever his arms at the elbow. Well, he doesn't shriek, because there's no, there's no sound. That, well, he is shrieking. You just can't hear it. Okay. Uh, you can tell, though. Nice. Um, so, Jean, uh, you were able... I'll put you in the initiative right after him, because you could see him coming up. You saw when the swim was coming down. So what is it that you do? Um... Has he dropped his gun? Yeah, the arms are severed. I will take the gun. Alright, you pick it up. And uh, your celerity turns are active, so Hassan, what do you want to do? Should I just finish it? Wouldn't that work? You could definitely do that. Alright, I'll do that. I'll take my sword and I'll slam it down onto him from the top. Alright, so dexterity plus uh, melee. That's still eight. Okay. And uh, what is your damage again? That is four plus two automatic, and I'm using a willpower point this time. All right. Why? Call it a hunch. <laughs> Why are you using a willpower point on a guy with no hands? Well, he may not uh, completely flub his uh, soak roll this time. <laughs> and this guy could start healing <laughs> as well. All right. Uh, you are able to basically... You cut off the arms, bring the sword around, and as he's silently screaming, you lop off the head. 
This is the most effective. Not kill, not kill, knock out, knock out. You're trying to knock him out? Well, I mean, as long as he yes. doesn't you said need you final death. This. Yeah, but I meant the encounter. All right. Nah, just kill him. I think I should, shouldn't we bring him back for questioning? Nah, we got the other guy. That's true. I, I still think we had the other guy. Yeah, I'll finish him. Fuck it. <laughs> All hard. right, swing. All right, so you lop off this guy's head. Nice. All right. And uh, you've got his shotgun, John. And your celerity turn active, so if you want to <laughs> now turn on Hassan. <laughs> <laughs> Now's the time. I will finish what Mary the Black Stars. <laughs> <laughs> All right, whatever. Um, Just like old times, eh? Are we, are we heading back to the other guys? I would imagine so, yeah. Should we do something about the body? Let's toss him that dump somewhere. <laughs> Yeah, sure, whatever. We're not we're not an alley, is there a is there a bin? Um yeah. Oh yeah, toss him in. Okay. What are you gonna do Get with the here. human? Oh yeah, is the human dead or No, he's uh unconscious. I'll take two blood points then. <laughs> Alright. I I think he oh, may well. already be drained. Is he? Uh you don't see any bite marks on him. He looks pale, but then he just got knocked out, so that makes sense. I'll take one blood point from him. All right. Um, and give me a, a self-control roll. Oh given how close you are to the beast, you just killed something. You want to relive it's the one. feeling. You know it's one. I know. I wanted you to say it though. Hassan, listen. I can't help myself. It's not my fault. Right. Hassan, you want to relax there? All right. Um. You take, you lose control of yourself just very, very briefly, and you take three blood points rather than one, but you don't go into frenzy. Damn. Well, that's unfortunate for him. It's pretty cold, right? It's snowing. Yeah. He's unconscious in the middle of an alley and it's snowing. Yes. It's really unfortunate for him. <laughs> Uh, is there like a, is there a cafe or anything I could bring him inside of a yeah, hotel? You guys could bring him into a building. You might want to call an ambulance for him, mate, if you're this careful about it. Although there's a dead vampire in the mm -hmm. bin right next to him, so maybe call. Yeah, but so move him, services. move him somewhere else. Yeah, I will bring him to a building and call the ambulance to that building. There we go. All right. So hides the fucking shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> and then bring the guy and then come back for the shotgun and then we'll go alright so you guys are about to so you're discarding the shotgun for now mm, I guess put okay. it in my duffel bag with my sword you could do, do you that. have that with you? I have my sword with me so I would assume so alright put the All shotgun right. in the duffel bag so Hassan has the shotgun just to be clear mm -hmm. yep. right. I have the shotgun on me right now alright so, in my duffel bag. you guys are about to bring him into a building nearby when you hear, like, a tremendous crash. What was that? Is that where you guys were? It was. Can we actually tell if that was where it was from? Yeah, that's definitely the direction it came from. Uh, okay, okay, let's go, let's go. <laughs> yeah, we're going. Alright. Onwards. Alright. So, first off, give me a, a stamina roll. Unless you have fortitude as well. Uh, me? To me. Or... I was talking to Mary. Okay, sorry. Alright, so you get, like, just checked through this wall, and you take... Uh, four points of damage. damage. Next, but Ooh. Damage. Yes, it is normal damage. Um, if you were a human, you'd be dead. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, so you're just basically left there stunned for a moment, and as he's turning around, he basically leaves you, but he looks down at you and says, St. Castine sends his regards. Turns, grabs the unconscious body of Josephine, and they book it in a direction. Damn it. I want to look and see which direction they go. Yeah, you can definitely see it. Wait, when did Josephine go unconscious? Uh, when oh, she wait. got staked. Oh. She got staked by the person who looked like St. Castine. 
All right, so Tom. I punch a brick and say, damn it, and then go and see if Abigail's okay. Uh, she's got the wind knocked out of her, but she is, okay. you know. I'm rushing over there, too, to check on the yeah, same thing. this is when you guys arrive. John is yeah, I run over. I run over to Abigail immediately. All right. And I'm like, they've got Josephine, and I point in the direction they go. I, you know, go after them. Get them. John, you'll, you'll need aspects. Go. I got Abigail, Hassan. Get out of here. Sure. All right. I'm trusting you on this. Oh, shut up and go. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys around the corner just in time to see, like, a car uh, peeling out and going off down the road. All right. Well, we both have celerity. Uh, we can't out on a car. It, no, not, we could attempt to temporarily keep up with it while could, I shock on the tires. You could. Well, you don't have the shotgun. Your yeah, son has the shotgun. Yeah, so I'd have to take the shotgun out of the bag and all. That's a, that's a full turn. Yeah. Yeah, but we got celerity. What's the pl license plate? License plate. Um, you can try and memorize the license plate. Give me a straight intelligence, unless you have take some sort of smart memory phone. skill. Do you have his phone? Smart out? Can you phone. Take a picture? Um, by the time you've gotten the phone out, you, uh, it's already gone. Can I not run after the car? You were using celerity if while I take to, my... If pocket. you want to spend your celerity, uh, point of celerity to do that, you can. Alright, do that. Alright. You take a picture of it. Nice. Okay. Alright. All right. Perfect. That's all we can. That's all we can do. Uh, hold on. I'll, I'll try to take, check. Sorry, I'll try to check what the car actually looks like, like the color of it, yeah. and what brand it is. Yeah, you get a general description. Okay. Good. Good. Just in case something happens to the picture. All right. So you guys, you're heading back to the alley. You guys are picking yourselves up. Yeah. Um, and Leon, as they're coming back, you hear like a ringing sound. Okay. Is it my phone? It's not your phone. And then in the ground, you can see uh, Joseph dropped the, his phone. The, the bad Joseph. The Oh, he dropped his well, phone. Well, possibly the bad Joseph or possibly Josephine. Oh, it seems oh. like there is a phone ringing over by where they scuffled. Oh, I see. Well, I'll go pick it up. All right. You can see on there it is a call from Madison. Oh. <laughs> Good luck explaining this. <laughs> All right. Well, it's That's unfortunate for you That's if she right fails to explain it. it. Decline. Joseph will deal with that later. You're gonna <laughs> decline it? Yep. She calls. Uh, All right, she texts, John wife. Text, she texts back, "Answer it now." And then you see it, the phone call rings again. Decline again. Decline again. <laughs> I'm busy now. <laughs> text back. Is that what you text? Mm-hmm. Y'all really don't care about God, back, wife, life. She's gonna pops think back it's... and says, "Where is Joseph?" <laughs> he would never talk back to me like that. <laughs> he knows his place. <laughs> All right, so I'll call her. All right, so this is as John and Hassan are back together. Yeah, yeah whatever. All right, so she says, so, "Where is Joseph?" His sire has just taken him. We're going to find a way to get him back. She says, is Jean there? Yes. Hand the phone over to him, please. So, <laughs> and hand the phone to Jean. <laughs> God, you this is I'm like, what does the Jean, hell is does, with these people? Does, does Jean realize who it is? Yeah, it, well, I mean, it says Madison on the phone. I'll give you a look. All right. What the hell? You and your humans. I answer the phone. All right. Hello. I've been told that uh, Joseph was abducted by his sire. Is that true? We are currently working on rescuing him. How does she know that? I just told her. You oh, better... fuck. I'm retarded. <laughs> <He's> just... <laughs> fuck! <laughs> I, tried, I tried to decline. Remember the oh. and yeah. yeah. Um, she says, uh, I hope so. Your wife dies at dawn. And then she <laughs> <up> on... 
Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Wait a minute. Now, I'm going to take the thing back from... I'm going to call her again. <laughs> uh, Except that she thinks it's me. She I'm does like, not... Madison, answer... Do you know anything about St. Castine? That's what I want to know. Says, I don't know anything. Find Joseph. Yeah, well, I, I don't care about her little thing, whatever. I'm just <laughs> saying, if you have anything about his sire, do you know any... That was what I wanted to know. She says, I do not know anything about that. All right, I would well, have told you if I did. Find Joseph. Okay. Well, I don't know. We have all a love-hate relationship. Your wife like... is depending on it. Well, well, I don't have a wife. I mean, that was what it says in text. <laughs> oh. She doesn't know who oh, she assumed. Like, I mean, Jean had... Whatever. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, people. some bullshit throws yeah, the phone I'm away. Like, well, <laughs> yeah, I do. I put like, I don't have a wife. That's what I said out, and then I pocket the phone. I think, Madison's, I think Madison might be a little, you know, loopy. Um, Unhinged. Uh, yeah, she is. I don't know. <laughs> she seems um, violently psychotic. I'm glad I'm not with her. Yeah. Alone, <laughs> unarmed right now. All right. Well, yeah, that'd be well. terrible. No. Fuck this story. <laughs> <laughs> we have to save Joseph. We have to free Joseph to save. To save Kumala. No. To save Haru. Wait, no, that's not right. <laughs> the the we have to... possessed human. Um, yeah. Free Joseph to, to save, save the infirmary. Mm -hmm. Wait, no, that's not right either. <laughs> See, it is. Uh, okay. All right. You got all it, right. guys. All right. So, all right. Well, we should probably go back and report on this. As you guys are kind of deciding what to do, another figure uh, emerges nearby. And it's a woman. And she says, "We, I took care of the people coming out, but we need to get out of here. Who are you? Yep. We need to get out of here. I'll tell you in a second. All right, well, we'll walk down. We do need to get out of here. <laughs> there is like a no, busted like... down wall right next to you. <laughs> okay, so let's, we haven't seen this woman before? No. Okay. Um, well, actually, you may have... She does look a little bit familiar. You've never met her, but you do think you've seen her at Sabat gatherings. So as we're jogging to the end of the alleyway, I will be like, and you are... Cairo. Just happen to be... I'll explain it once we're inside the car and moving. Alright. Alright. You got the van? Yeah. Unlocked. <laughs> John made it! He made it! So he has the keys. You're good yeah, to go. so... Didn't drop the key somewhere. All right. All right. We'll turn down All right. skin radio so we can. She says, I had to step in. I want, she seems to be struggling with something. I want to help you, but I need to know this won't be reported to anyone. Getting back Joseph won't be reporting to, reported to anyone? What I am telling your you. your help in that process. Your help in that process. Okay, just going for it. So, um, okay. And actually... I am a priest. Now that you're seeing her, you do think actually more than just uh, Sabbat gatherings, you think you've seen her at Cathari gatherings as well. She does seem to be a member of your path. Okay. Um, so I'll be like, yeah, I am a priest. I can... Keep confession. I am a part of the pack which St. Castine now controls. Okay. I can lead you to where they will take your man. Or woman. Okay. Sounds good. It sounds like a trap. I was going to say, even though he said, I mean, obviously that guy could have killed us if he wanted to. It seemed like he easily overpowered you. So I'm going to feel like maybe they don't have any beef with us. So why would they? They've got Joseph. Why would they set another trap for us when they could have just killed us back there? It's true. It's my thoughts. Mm hmm. Kyra goes on to say, they worship the demon that lives beneath Mount Royal. Okay. Do you worship the demon? They have made me do things. 
That is why I do not wish to involve the Inquisition. I was able to retain my sanity only with the aid of my thaumaturgy. Huh? Do I see the little sign on her head? She is not an anti tribute. That you can tell, although you're not a Tremere anti tribute, so you wouldn't be able oh, to see right. it. Oh, that's right. I can't see it. Everybody else. Just assume that she's a Tremere. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Well, so, but you're helping us now. I. It is difficult. Let's see. I was not able to step in to save the polite young men. What is what is Saint Castine's purpose? He serves the demon, the demon beneath Mount Royal. Mm hmm Okay. Um, all right. So take us to where they're taking Joseph. I, I can lead you there. Okay. Then pulling through whatever you need to do. All right. She will punch in coordinates to your GPS. And by this time, I mean, the fight was around midnight, so it's getting kind of late by the time you're out there. It's near the outskirts of Montreal. It is uh, in an industrial area. Okay. So as you guys are pulling up, you can see it is an abandoned oil refinery. Okay. All right, so we're nearing dawn. This is probably not good. Since that's, I would say we'd go back and, and prepare better, but, you know, John would probably. <laughs> yeah, decide. you don't want to hurry on this. You could head back, get some rest, yeah, get some guns. Feed a little more. That kind of thing, now that we know where they are. Yeah. What? <laughs> we have until dawn. Yeah. Well, that's what I said. I was waiting for John to be like, no, we have to do this now. All right, so. We have until dawn. Plan? We just going in, guns a blazing. Yeah. If Joseph gets oh. killed in the crossfire. Oh no. Yeah, that's the best case scenario. That is the that is the second best case scenario. I'm like Joseph dies. Oh, exactly. Dies. Best, best, exactly. Best case scenario. <laughs> that's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. All right. All right. Listen, we got. We got so we got this assassin. How many how many people are in there? Aspects of the building. The oil yeah. refinery is huge. You're not going to be able to get an, uh, an Auspex reading until you're actually inside. Okay. Well, do we see anything from where we are? No, you do not. All right, well, that's something. So, I'm going to look at the girl. What's the best? I'm taking ownership of that shotgun, by the way. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you can, you can take it. She says... Yeah, no one else can use it anyway. Inside. They're inside the refinery. Gonna like go along with us and help us. I don't think that would be a good idea. Or are you just gonna say sneak up on us at the end when the demon takes control of you again? I intend to leave as soon as you're out of the car. Okay. So, how many of them are there, do you think? I do not know. How many? At least how many? I have seen the one who looks like Saint Castine. I have seen the one who looks like Joseph, and I have seen the other member of my pack. The one who's dead now, probably. Yeah, the one you decapitated. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. I take full credit for that, by the way. Okay, so I will. Uh, I'll be like you go now. All right, she leaves. She starts heading out. All right. Yeah. So let's do it. Well, right, at least she can't backstab us since she's running away. Yeah, that's what I wanted to make sure she was going away. Um, All right. So it is nearly it is nearly dawn at this point. All right. And well, you're not going to have time to get back to the Haven, obviously. You're going to have to spend the day here. But we got to get rid of these other guys. Yep. So I don't even know. Let's go in. Let's aspect some. I got my uh, I got my blood bombs ready. All right. So you're all going in. I... Jean wants to sit mm -hmm. out and keep the car running? No. I need to take care of Abigail during this somehow. Alright. So you're going to stay by Abigail? Yeah. 
All right, so I guess you're not going to go up and scout alone with Obfuscate. I am not. All right. Oh, mate. <laughs> I don't trust you enough for this. <laughs> oh, come on. All right. Leon's, yeah, Leon's, Leon's here as well. You're good. Yeah, when I, what happened when I left um, Abigail and Leon last time was that I woke over and she was damn near unconscious. It's that true. was five minutes ago. <laughs> she does get abused every single time you leave. Hey, you know. And when you're there as well, because of <laughs> your own actions. Yeah, because you murdered her. So. Alright. <laughs> one time! Yeah, yeah well, but he doesn't want anyone else once. abusing her. That's like cheating. Alright, you know. so you guys head in. And you start looking around this place. So, uh... For the record, I am obfuscated still. I'm just not right. scouting ahead. So, Jean, give me a perception plus alertness. Uh... That is six with a specialty. Okay. In oil refineries? Uh, <laughs> When I when we enter the building or whatever, uh, would it be okay for me to spend another point for celerity? Uh, yeah, you can do that. Go for it. Okay, thank you. Spend as much blood as you want. Cool. All right. So you start looking around, and you think you do see traces of flickering auras in the distance, and you can kind of guide the party towards the general direction. But inside, the place is a maze, so you're not really sure exactly when you're going to reach them, how close you are. So you're walking around amidst all the, uh, you know, pipes and junk. And uh, eventually, you can see what looks like... Uh, some sort of flickering candlelight or firelight ahead of you. Well, well should we go that way? Mode. I was going to say, we should be sneaky mode. You guys actually aren't there. <clears throat> John, as you're looking around, you can see that uh, your allies don't seem to be with you. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> now is not the time. Of course it's the time, Jean. You called me here. Oh, uh, no, I did not. I did not. I did not. <laughs> I did not. I did not. Well, hi, Demon. It's not true. <laughs> what, what How's we your see? sex life? What do we see? Um, you just see, he seems, he's still leading you. He seems to be in a trance. Okay. I don't know. Let's just... He turns Let's around just... and he says, I will finish what Mary the Black started. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He says, you called to me. You are concerned. How is your wife? Listen. <laughs> that is none of your business. What would you say if I told you that St. Castine had displeased me? That I would assist you in disabling him? You better agree to this fucking deal no matter what it is. The hand that giveth may also taketh away, you understand. If he really displeased you, you'd let him die anyway. Unless, of course, I wanted to uh, continue to use him as a prod for you. Nah. Even an unwilling tool can still be used for a purpose. No. No. I need to focus. You saw what he was capable of. Do you really think you're going to be able to defeat him? I gotta try. It is a shame that your wife will die for your arrogance. She will not. She will, <laughs> I am afraid. Even now, Madison is looking at her. Watching her, studying her movements. Listen, if there's an all-powerful god out there, he's really not going to be with me consorting with demons, alright? So he's either going to conspire to make things work out when I reject you, or, like, you know... Allow you to suffer as Job shit. did. 
Listen, Don't Job got all his shit at the end, though. He, uh, had his children replaced. Perhaps God will allow you to find a new wife once Haru passes away. Listen, I don't like that Old Testament shit anyway, okay? (laughs) And yet it is an integral part of your Bible. Not my Bible. I only take the good parts. Even if you uh, were to save him, you understand you're just saving Joseph. Without my help... Madison and he will still prove just as much a danger to Haru as ever. What I am suggesting is this. You know that we have the ability to mimic Joseph. Saint Castine and his pack have that ability. I still control some of them. We will destroy Saint Castine and your friends all at once and you will take Saint Castine's place. We will mimic Joseph as long as it is convenient to produce your wife and Madison, at which point we will deal with all the loose ends. All my friends? What? Yeah, he's going to kill us all. Every, you mean Leon? Yeah. So Every Abigail, member of your uh, pack. Yeah, we'll, we'll all be dead because you don't want any witnesses, right? And then you... You know they intend to threaten your wife. They care nothing for her. You saw how dismissive they were of her well-being. Nonsense. They're with me now. Only reluctantly, how long until they tell you that it is part of your new path and your role in the Sabbat to end your wife's life? Well, maybe when that happens, you'll sound a bit more convincing. Until then, you got nothing. When that happens, it will be too late for me to save you. Even with my powers, (laughs) I I don't think even I will be able to assist you in taking them all on together by yourself. You must strike now while you are amongst my allies. Nah. I warn you that death comes for your wife even now. It approaches her location. I assure you, even if you save Joseph, blood will be spilt this night. Not my wife's. Hmm. We shall see. Mm-hmm. You are remarkably confident that you can save your wife. Yeah. I got this. <laughs> okay. The a, old Toreador right catchphrase. Right. I got this. Oh, fucking hell, you're right. I could have handled this on my own, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he turns and winks at you, too. I'll handle this one on my own. <laughs> Goes to the door, shotgun blasts, he's immediately incinerated and falls backwards. Yeah. And just... <laughs> yeah. Alrighty, so what are we seeing? Um, he just kind of comes back into... Consciousness. You guys didn't notice anything wrong, and John, you're back walking ahead of... You can still see the firelight up ahead of you. As you round another corner. Well, can I perceive any auras? Uh, yes, you can perceive two auras. Alright, I will describe this to the guys very quietly. Okay, can we see the firelight? You can see the firelight as well. Two people around it? Uh, you can't see two people around it. You can okay. see it coming around a corner. All right. All right. So, I... Sneaky mode is all I can think of. Is there any way to sneak up near them? Um, only up until kind of the mouth of the room they're in. Okay. So, remember they're La Sombra. And it's dark. Well, one of them yeah. is La Sombra. You took a picture of the other guy, so he can't be La Sombra. No, the Joseph was the guy that's the two Josephs. That's true. Well, it could be that, but then there's also the other guy who fled with them as well, the guy who staked Joseph. Right. 
and he could be there, but we only see the two auras. That's true. But we can assume that St. Castine is somewhere nearby, and that's what I'm saying. It's, it's true. There's a, there's, St. Castine is a La Sombra. We could have some shadowy crap going on. It's I'm true. just throwing it out there. So, um, so what's the plan? You better be careful. Well, I've got a shotgun that hopefully has fire bullets. <laughs> okay, I got fingers some, crossed. I got a couple of wads of blood bomb. All right, wads of blood. W wads of blood bomb. That's what I got. Okay. Yeah. Do we, do we just go in guns a blazer? We're gonna hit Joseph. I mean, we don't know which is which. We gotta get in. We gotta figure sure. out what, what our target actually is. I re would I be able to recognize Josephine's aura? Uh, no, you would not. Okay. Ask him something only the real Joseph would know. <laughs> I'm gonna Wait. assume that we walk it. I'm I'm gonna assume they've not vicissituted him by this. They may have. <laughs> you don't know shit. I mean, but I'm what surely, I'm assuming is that we go surely. in. We see Josephine. We see, you know, being tortured or what? The one tied to yeah. the chair. I mean, you know, they could well, have yeah. some elaborate ruse. That's true. They could. We but... will see someone who looks like they're being held captive. Yeah. Unless. Josephine's been dominated to act natural, and one of the doubles is captured. Right, I'm saying it could be a ruse, but we don't have time to go through all of the permutations. We go <laughs> kill in, everyone and let God sort them out. Yeah, we're gonna go <laughs> in and we're gonna rescue That's the, plan. the Josephine. Now, here's the problem. I uh, did did Stallworth ever tell Madison that he's a woman now? <laughs> no, he didn't. <laughs> because I don't know how even if we rescue her, how we show her to Madison. It's fine, <laughs> you're just gonna have to vicissitude him back. You know, it's just all it is it's just <laughs> anyway. Here we don't have time for all of the possible permutations and to figure out whoever. Whoever looks like they are being held captive, we are rescuing that person. We're gonna say it's <laughs> yeah. Joseph. And that's going to be that. We'll sort it out later. All right. So you guys round the corner? Yeah. Oh, uh, I guess. All right. So you guys uh, round the corner. You see Josephine staked laying on the ground. And over him stand, her sound stands St. Castine. Turns to face you and begins growing protein claws. And we are going to go into initiative. Okay. So... Oh boy. You know, in hindsight, I probably should have prepared, like, my accurate damage for this. Okay, so yep. wait. Wait, guys. <laughs> Do we know for a fact that Star Wars doesn't have protein claws? <laughs> <laughs> he has never wow. used them in our presence. No. You've never so, seen him use the protein claws. And I feel like, and I feel like he would have used them. Yeah, alright. You're not allowed to say Star Wars because it's more fun <laughs> that way. <laughs> All right, so wits plus uh, dexterity. We'll start yes. with Mary. Uh, that's seven. All right, Miles. Eight specialty and surprise tax. This counts. Probably doesn't. Probably doesn't. And, uh, David. Does it matter that I currently have Celerity active? Um, you can use it this turn, but that doesn't affect your initiative. Okay, so Wits plus Dexterity? Wits plus Dexterity. Six. And David goes first. Okay, well, shoot him in the head. <laughs> All right. Are you aiming for the head, or are you aiming for center mass? It's an well, incendiary so, round. It's the, the way I see it is that uh, right behind him is Stalworth lying down, right? Um, at the floor at his feet. So I would like to aim high to reduce my chance of hitting him. All right. <laughs> so for the head, you want to reduce your chance of hitting Stalworth? Yeah, I appreciate you know, that. You know, Madison only needs him alive, not necessarily unharmed. And <laughs> not unaggravated. Yeah, but I can't risk hitting him with an incendiary round. Come on, Lance. Alright. So, uh, dexterity plus firearms. 
five, and I'll spend a willpower point. Okay. All right, and the damage on your shotgun, fortunately I have this written down, is Good. eight. A million. No, eight. And this is a pump action shotgun. Damage. You could keep firing, although each time you're going to increase because the bore is, uh, or the barrel is uh, warped, you're going to increase the chance of it exploding in your hands. So, oh, God. So. Do it. Roll the dice. Future shots come at your own risk. Does he unload both um, barrels at the same time? Sorry, it's sorry, not a double barreled shotgun, it's a pump action. So, did I hit him? Um, you did hit him. I'm rolling damage right now. Okay, good. And four to two. Is he worried about something? All right. Um, it glances the side of his head, and he, uh, kind of, like, a trickle of blood runs down, but he does not seem, and, like, there's, his hair is kind of on fire, and he pats it out. Fucking shoot him again. Well, we're not to that yet. We're up to Mary's turn. Okay, so... Does my second move from Celerity not go right Your after? Your Celerity happens at the very end of the initiative round. Oh, okay, So we sorry. go through everyone's initiative, then Celerity rounds start, and we go down the uh. list again. So I want Sorry. to go in so we're actually separate targets. I don't want to be all bunched up next to yeah. Jean. Yeah, you don't want to be next to me when I blow up. Yeah. <laughs> so That's a good I idea. Like it's a pretty good idea. targets, and I want to go around, because I'm not going to lob my... Um, my bombs? My bombs very well, because uh, Stallworth is there, so I might tuck those away real quickly, um, and I'll try and get around behind maybe so I can vicissitude. If you want to engage hand-to-hand, <laughs> -hand, you can do that. Give me a dexterity plus brawl. This is a really, really bad... I may drop the blood bombs, because any contact is going to... All right, you are dropping them. Gonna, I'm surprised they didn't go off. I'll say they were in the van when I went through the wall. Um, uh, so, dexterity plus borrow, is that what it is? Yes. Six. I'm going to get myself totally killed here. All right, uh, you do hit, so strength plus uh, body crafts. Five. Uh, he resists your attempt at vicissitude. You can do that? Yeah, apparently this I guy mean, can. it's a damage, it's a soak roll, so you're trying to damage him and he is, uh, soaking it. Okay. Huh. Obviously, if someone is, like, clamped down on a tear, you can just vicissitude them however long you want. But if someone wants to resist fortitude, you do that with your soak, just like you do any kind of lethal damage. Hmm. Anyway, Most yeah, no, of... he's done that several times now. Yeah. All right. So, so it is, um, Miles' turn. I think I may actually have to just get my get some uh, yeah, so blood on my sword. I don't know why you didn't charge your weapon before we went in here. Yeah, that's. I'll now say that's my bad. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, and I also I'll start, I'll also start off his I'll start start off his getting started. Uh, Buffing my stats and preparing celerity and stuff. All right. Yeah. Um, so you're if you're spending the blood point to put it on your sword, you can't spend it to uh, spend it on celerity. Hmm. All right then. All right. So you're moving into range, obfuscated, getting your sword ready. No, I, I assume you can see me. <laughs> well, you. I mean. I'll get close enough that I can get into range yeah. and attack the next turn. All right, cool. So it is his turn now, and the yeah, one attack who me, is isn't he? in melee with him yeah, is you. that's me. I'm dead now. Bye, guys. It was nice knowing you. Won't miss you. Yeah. Uh, he does hit. Yeah. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> uh, what is your fortitude? 
That's zero. All right, you take one point of aggravated damage. One point? One point. All right. Surprisingly little. So is that cover? I didn't heal all the way up. I was just bruised, so I still have It is the farthest one nice over. Mark. So basically you should do another normal mark below it and then upgrade oh, the normal mark into aggravated. Oh, okay, that's what I wanted to do. Yeah. Well, I should say right now, I told Epica to stay out of the fight. All right. <laughs> She's not volunteering to save you, buddy. Good. I'm just making sure she doesn't jump in and do anything stupid. All right. <laughs> Hardly. She'll jump in to push you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and it is David's celerity turn now. Fucking shoot him in the head. Also, did you spend another blood point to get another point of celerity? Uh, I will now. Okay. And, so, uh, you're shooting him in the head again? Yes, please. Alright, so, dex plus firearms. Five with a special, uh, sorry, five and a willpower point. All right. All right. Okay. And. He seems completely unfazed. You again blast him full in the face with the shotgun. Oh, and I have to uh, check to see. Yeah, it does not explode in your hands. All right. Oh, uh, maybe he's immune to fire because the uh, fucking infernalist actually. Yeah. That's All right. Kind of what that's I'm good doing. thinking. Let's hope that's the case. And it is uh, your turn again on the next round. Can someone unstake me, please? Well, we can't get near enough to you. He's still standing over you. Ah, uh, okay. I mean, I'm probably the closest. Actually, that might work, no? And, uh, I was gonna say, and I'm the closest, and I might do you that. You could do that. You could spend I, your turn unstaking him. If I, but it's John's turn right now. So. Yes. Uh, I don't have a melee weapon, do I? Nope. Did you ask for my knife? I didn't. Then you don't. <laughs> Do you want my knife? Hand to hand. <laughs> I would like your knife. Okay, I'm not gonna give it to you at this time because I have my uh, like buffed weapon ready. But fuck's sake, did I get my Glock back when I threw it to the guy? Um, I'm gonna say yes. So yes, you did. All right, can I pull out my Glock then? You can definitely do that. I will sh start shooting him. Full auto. Yeah. All right, dexterity plus head. dexterity plus firearms. Five willpower points. All right, and then you would get a huge bonus for going full auto. Wow. Well. All right, you hit. And, uh, do you have the damage on your Glock? I do. Uh, damage is seven. Okay. That one actually seemed to, uh, he didn't like that. That's good, at least. Yeah, so I guess he likes the fire bullets. Yeah, no, that shot fucked him up. Good. Finally. Oh, wait. Give me a second. All right, and then it is Mary's turn. All right, so I'll try and knock the stake out of Joseph. All right, you're going to do that. All right, mm -hmm. so you spend your turn. You wrench the stake out. 
Uh, so Joseph, you're going to uh, enter the uh, initiative at the bottom. You have been reduced to a single blood point. Fuck. And uh, so it is now uh, Hassan's turn. All right. How fucked up does this guy look? Um, he's he's got shot in the head. I mean, with like a fully automatic uh, machine pistol. Yeah, because so we were told to not kill him. I like, take him out alive. Um, not really. Well, okay. It's very confusing. You were told to basically get rid of Saint Castine, sort of a dead or alive thing. And of course, this guy looks like Saint Castine, but that means absolutely nothing. Yeah, but he's mm -hmm. pretty, you know, tough. Right. For the sake of safety, I'll just attack him full force. All right. So, so above my strength by one. That's not a blood point lost. All right. Give me a dexterity plus melee. That is. Eight battlefield surprise attacks in case he hasn't seen me. Okay. Using a will PowerPoint. Alright, and then what is the damage for your strength plus sword? That is five plus free automatic. Alright. Yeah. Well, uh, this accurate damage, by the way. Yeah, I know. Okay. And, let's see, his soak. All right. All right. So you hit him, and he uh, goes into torpor. All right. All right. Excellent. So into torpor, not completely killed? Um, no. Because he also had normal damage to him as well, and that's what filled up first. Oh, wonderful. Perfect. And we are and still we're... in initiative, so Joseph, what is your self-control? Nothing. Uh, no. 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 <laughs> yes, what I got. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's one. All right. Um... Uh, you jump on top of this guy and start just draining the hell out of his blood. So you gain Take three him blood off. points. Take him off. Yeah, you're gonna get Joseph I... off? Of, I mean, it's not gonna happen. I'll try. Take him again. Try, yeah. Restake him. You could, I'll toss you the stake. Oh, by the way, uh, Joseph, you also took uh, five points of damage. Uh, Wait, how, how much from damage? staking. Five points. Alright. That's a minus two, I think. Oh, wait, but if he's frenzied, then that's not or anyway, doesn't it? Yeah, wound penalties are ignored in frenzy. So, yeah. Yeah, never mind so, then. I was gonna say, I'll toss us on the stake. I'd rather just, like, get him off. Uh, you could try. You can't. Just restake him. Yeah, good luck with that. Alright, I'll try to restake him. Alright. So, uh, give me a... You thought it was a good idea to unstake him. Give me well, a strength I thought, plus yeah, one. I thought St. Castine was going to be a little more of a problem. What was that? Give me, a, what is your strength, uh, plus one. That is free. Uh, Sorry, it's four right now. Right. And I have two potents. Two I didn't potents. realize that Jean was going to just blow him up with an automatic pistol. Okay. And, uh, Joseph, what is your, uh, stamina? Um, uh, stamina is two and one fortitude. Alright. You are not restaked, uh, however, you do take one point of damage. So I'm like, negative six right now? Yes. Negative five. Yeah, one mob will knock you into Torpor as well, so you might want to cut this out. Um, well, incapacity... I mean, I all got no not, choice. You should be at negative five. Um, so, you, uh, gain another three blood points, unless someone else wants to also try and interfere. Something I can do. 
All right. So, yeah. Well, we can't. If we knock him out, he won't be able to call what's her face. That's true. So, uh, you take another three blood points from him, and you gain three blood points. You can also be spending this blood one per turn to heal as well. Well, that, that cost was level roll, wasn't it? Um, that's true, if you want to. Well, we probably, hmm, I, you know, it's no. torn. What happens if I drain this dude? Uh, um, you deactivate Then you drain him. <laughs> oh, so what are, like, the, 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 the pros and cons of that? Just well, stop. the pro... If you do have less someone, you, uh, you, I'll explain it, sorry. Yeah, you will get a, uh, uh, some sort of skill, usually, um, like a discipline. Um, if he is lower generation than you, you will go down by one in generation. Uh, the con is that you're going to absorb the soul of an infernalist. Yeah. Wow, that sounds terrible. Yeah. Even for you. Yeah. I was going to say, where is Joseph's moral line? You can you spend... Not at, on your path, you do not want to be an infernalist. You can spend yeah, a will... point to basically stop and run away. As yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm spending a world power point. All right. So, the, so the... Joseph gets up and he basically books it out of here. All right. Well, um, I'm going to assume Jean goes after him. I'm going to go check on Saint <laughs> Castine. Um, he's not turning. Yeah, let's take him then. Yeah, let's take um, him. All right. And I, I, to be honest, Leon cares nothing for Jean's wife, so that is not. <laughs> thing. I'm I do care. I do care so much. So I'll go after him. <laughs> a little um, bit. I'm Leon cares about a bit. That Dawn is happening. Yeah, and we're stuck in this thing, so I'm staking Saint right, Castine, yeah. um, and I'm trying to find a uh, uh, a hidey hole. This place is the lair they used, so it's okay. sunproof. Okay. So um, after a little bit, uh, now that you've had some blood, Joseph, you are able to regain your senses. As Jean and Hassan come up to you. Hey. hey. Hey guys, I'm, I appreciate you coming for me. You need to call Madison now. Why? What happened? You just need to tell her you're safe now. Oh, did she call while I was uh, kidnapped? Yes. Oh. I take out. I take out the phone. He is still a woman. Oh my god. Does it dawn on John at this me. point? Does you did tell her you were a woman now, right? I feel like uh, that's a question that would be asked. Did I? Nope. I don't know if I did. You did yeah, not. Yeah, I didn't. Because we were going to roll right. play it. I guess we'll roll It'll play it. It'll be alright. No, you need to come back. <laughs> and and we'll change your, your we'll change your voice at least. Fuck. <laughs> nah, I'll be fine. She'll, she'll know it's me. <laughs> what? No, she won't. Come come with me now. Do you Please. Just, do you just dial the phone, Stalworth? <laughs> Uh, well, how long do we have until, uh, until his wife gets killed? Um, Don, well, you don't know when his wife is going to be killed, but Don is very near. You guys are starting to feel sleepy. So, do we have time to actually change my voice? Uh, maybe, maybe but you'd be cutting it close. My voice will be the right voice. Call her while we're coming back. Call her while we're heading back. <laughs> We about to drive back to our haven? No, we're sleeping no, here. No, no, while we're going back to get you changed, you dickhead. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh, all right. Do all right. Call, do you call her up? Sure. All right. So, uh, the phone rings. And rings. And then uh, it picks up and says, Hi, this is Madison. Uh, I'm not available right now, so please leave your name and number. What? After the beep. <laughs> beep. <laughs> tell her you're Joseph and tell her something that only you would know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, hey, Madison. This is, uh, this is Joseph. Uh, I know my voice sounds a little different now. There's some things that went down uh, with my clan or well, my new path that I'm on. And uh, we did a ritual. A whole lot of stuff happened. But, uh, yeah, I'll tell her. I'll tell her. Look, you know it's me. Uh, I'll tell her, like, where we had our first 
No, no, I'm th- Ooh, I'm thinking about the wrong character. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that time in the park in Chicago? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll tell her about uh, the whole reservation and, you know, how they tried to kill us. Uh, I'll tell her. I'll describe in great detail what happened that night that uh, they almost killed me, John. Oh, I was there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. John was there. That was already dickhead. Nah, uh, still no. Uh, I'll, I'll describe in great detail what happened. Um, when you killed that guy? That night. Oh, sorry, that when you night. accepted the blame for that no, guy being no, dead? Hey, we both yeah. know you killed the guy. <laughs> no, no, I took the blame. Uh-huh. Yes. But, uh, yeah, I'll describe that. Alright. I Alright, well, I'm ringing Haru. There is no response. What the fuck? It goes to voicemail. Damn, Why? man. Sorry about that. Shut the fuck <laughs> up. Come on, we need to get you changed. Alright. Alright. All right. Yeah, you guys find Lysia. This place seems secure to you. Okay, Leon, can you, change, can you change? Can you change? Walking around? Nope. Not that you can see. So it was just these guys? That seems odd to me. At least one person is definitely missing. <sighs> yeah. Hmm, that's not good at all. I'm concerned about this. Leon, you need to change Josephine's yeah, voice to male. Time for that right now. It Dawn absolutely is. It's almost done. Um, you could do it, but you would have to make path rolls in order to stay awake. Yeah, okay, I guess. Alright. So you got four on your path, I think? Yep, looks like it. Now nah, you go to sleep. Yeah, I was gonna. Say, I <laughs> well, there oh is time gosh. later. <laughs> we can deal with this later. Man, that's tough. I hate you. Actually, Josh, <laughs> what is your humanity? As he succumbs, also. Yeah, the, I'm more. just wondering if you have, if you are in a position to be dismissive of her falling asleep, Five. or if. All right. Um, actually, you feel very intense, and you, you are able to keep yourself up. Is Joseph okay. awake? <laughs> you could try and stay awake if you want to, Joseph, but you don't want to. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to sleep. So, it wouldn't have mattered if I changed his voice, he's in Torpor anyway. Yeah, he's done. I'm taking two blood points from Joseph. <laughs> uh, Why? You've got he's got seven blood points you could take from Joseph. And your vinculum goes up for Joseph by one. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Oh, and Hassan, you go right down. I'm taking yeah, two blood down. points. Hassan from me. falls. He was already asleep as you started we got arguing. Abigail in here with us too. Yeah. yeah, I took Abigail to a corner and make sure she fell asleep oh. too. Uh, I'm taking two blue cards from Leon. You could even check that, but hopefully she's fine. Fingers crossed. You fuck her. <laughs> so, so John, what do you want to do to uh, Abigail while you're alone with her? I'm taking two blood points from Leon. <laughs> All right. <laughs> take them from me. I saved you. Never mind. Actually, you can't Leon's take them from already, me. Leon's already a ten anyway. All right. Yeah, also, I only have three left, so never mind. So Don't what is take your uh, blood pool after that? After that's four. Okay. So I'm going to need a self-control roll from you. I hope he doesn't deatherize you I while really you're in Torpor. You no, know, that's fine. It, it'll happen. I expected to die tonight anyway. Four. four. All right. You keep a hold of yourself, but barely. Because you do really Easy. like Leon tastes good. You love Easy. sucking on that man. Yep, you do. And then you fall asleep on top of it. <laughs> I feel like that's what happened. I feel like you took some and sort of fell asleep. That's what happened. That was my last act. <laughs> I was so good on this one. <laughs> Alright, so you guys right. wake up the next evening. Everyone takes off one blood point. Alright, I'm I immediately blood. call Haru. She does not respond. I immediately call uh, uh, Madison. She does not respond. What the fuck? <laughs> Road trip? 
Hmm. Something may be wrong. You guys could hmm. head up to... It is the beginning of the night. You guys could head up to Quebec. All right. So, well, we got St. Kesty, and we need to drop him off at the uh, Haven. Um, If you guys are going to kind of get to Quebec safely and find shelter, you may want to think Why about... Why are we going to Quebec? If you're going to find out what happened to Madison and uh, Harry. I have absolutely no intention of doing that. I'm going to take St. Kesty no, back have, to no, the Haven. No, we have... No, we have an actual... And I'm going to talk with Yamamoto about the possibility of what's going on in Quebec. Well, unfortunately, there's only one vehicle, so you as a pack are going to have to decide this. There's no other All vehicle right. around here? Josephine, no. Josephine, your woman and mine are both in trouble. Clearly. What are we doing and with also, this stage body of saint? We're not just going to leave him here. Bring him with him. us. You can put it in the van. You do have a, you have a big van. <laughs> Fucking bring him with us. Well, these are two so important pack contacts that are in okay. danger right now. So, yeah. so we should run yeah. this half cocked to Quebec to do, and then oh my god, we would be in so much trouble. This would just take, be just, just just take it down, not to everybody. We could uh, we just need to take Saint Castine back to the Haven, and uh, what I was saying, you know, we'll. Madison could we'll die if you don't get there in time. We don't have time to do both. You are you absolutely are. hours outside of Montreal right now. It takes way too long to go back and then to head to Quebec. Oh, that's interesting. Well, you know, in that case, uh, we could leave the uh, the van to a uh, to our priest, and uh, he could take. St. Castine back to the Haven and then we could just like steal a car or something. You're kind of in an industrial area. There's no cars around for you to steal. You're in the middle of a shut down oil refinery in the middle of the night. But Wait, wait. Where was where's St. Castine and his goons? Where's their van? Um, it does not you didn't see anything like that here. And considering that there's one person still missing, that may be where it is. Hmm. Double fuck. Well, hmm. Abigail kind of comes up to you, Leon, and says, I mean, if they're in trouble, we should probably help them. My fear is that they're not actually in any trouble, and we're going to get... There's so many ways we can lose St. Castine. Well, we could always just kill St. Castine and then just take our test of pain after we do this. Yeah. And hide the evidence of your crimes, Joseph. Just <laughs> <laughs> I suppose, since we're already halfway to Quebec, we might as well go. We better kill St. Castine. Yeah, let's definitely kill him. We, sh we don't know that this is St. Castine. This may be just a pack member. We might be able to get information at him. I will vicissitude him. Into pieces? Into pieces. And <laughs> grab his <laughs> torso. So. Wait, hold on, hold on. If he's a Zamitzi, he can vicissitude himself back out, right? Only if he has the parts. Alright. So, yeah. So I vicissitude him into uh, parts so that he cannot vicissitude himself. He could try and heal it if he is of a lower generation than you is, but at least we'll slow him down. It, it would take yeah, a shit ton of blood and he doesn't almost... have any blood on him. Okay. Yeah, because exactly. you drained it he's all. He's got almost no bloods. So Alright, sounds staked, like a good idea. He's, staked, he's, he's, staked, he's a staked bloodless torso. I feel like, I feel like this yeah. is in, like in Star Wars when C-3PO is in the bag on Chewie's yeah. back and just has the parts yeah. coming out. I feel like that's what this is. Alright. We've got him in the duffel um, bag. Alright, so like, just to make sure... We're not gonna bring the limbs, right? We're gonna burn them or something, right? You can leave them at the we refinery. Can leave them in the sun, yeah. Maybe we should burn them. What? Just. I what? mean, they're off of him, so they're inert. They're dead. Yeah, we'll put them outside so they disintegrate. All right. Yeah, that sounds good. All right. So you guys are heading to Quebec. I guess. Yep. So All right. Road right, trip. Road. Hey. You guys yeah. jump in the car and you start driving over to Quebec, and it does take hours still. But okay. eventually. I'll be right back. Leon is <laughs> yeah. This is your wife, John. We have to back. wait for him. I gotta go pee. <laughs> Hurry! <laughs> sighing, shaking my head. This is a horrible idea. This is a horrible idea. I have no oh, blood. Yeah. I'm down oh. two blood points because somebody drank from me. <laughs> <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> that was a real asshole move. 
So Should I, I like? Very, very hungry. You, you looked around the place. Give me a perception plus investigation. You looked around the place last uh, night. Oh, that's four. You did find a freezer with some uh, stored vitae in it. All right. Well, I'm taking that. All right. There are. Can ten, I have some, please? There are ten points total in the freezer. Distribute them how you like. Do it quickly while David's gone. Okay. So, yeah, <laughs> I'll go to Famished. Then I'll. I'll head toward the freezer, and I'll... Yeah, Hassan, if you want to come with me, that's fine. Gladly. I'll bring Abigail as well, because she so, probably needs some. Yeah. So, and then I will take... I need at least, like, four. So I can get up above five. So I'm not, like... Come back. Come back. Come back. Okay. I'll take four, and I'll give Abigail two. All right. So she right. takes two. You get four. And Leon gets four. Okay. All right. So you guys arrive at Quebec. Uh, Jean, you know the location of where the art gallery was set up. Um, and there is supposed to be an apartment above it. Well, there are a couple of apartments above it. It's part of a big block of buildings. The gallery's on the first floor. It's like the old style sort of buildings where shops are on the first floor and then there are apartments above them. Okay. Um, you head into the place where Madison and her are supposed to be staying, um, and you can see that the door is beaten down and there is, like, please do not cross tape put up. Hmm. Okay. Is there, uh, are the police there? Or there are no police, police there. there. It's completely empty, but like oh. the door is off its hinges. You can actually see inside easily. I was gonna say, let's. I All right, whatever. Inside. Just I fucking bust in. And, and investigate. Bust in and start investigating with us, Bex. All right, you start looking around the place. Um, it, there is a tremendous amount of blood on the floor. Wow. Um, and you can I see. Taste it? Is it vampiric or? Uh, um, it tastes. Human. Uh, it's all coagulated. Actually, oh. really, you wouldn't be able oh, to. Wouldn't be able to test. Okay. Um, but you can tell there was definitely a struggle here. Um, they tore this place apart. Um, and from the looks of the blood, I feel someone... like it wasn't a Madison killing Haru thing. Someone pretty much okay. died here. Uh, okay. violently. Aspects tree. Yep, you can try and oh, is it see Haru's the events. aura that has died, or...? Perception plus empathy is... Seven with a specialty. Please tell me Madison died. Please tell me Madison died. That would be useful for all of us. You feel the so emotions great. of a terrible struggle, and you feel, uh, like, terror, like, panic from someone. The person being, like, beaten and killed. Um, but that's all you get. You get the emotional yeah, resonances, and that's all. Yeah, Madison probably beat somebody to someone death. Someone who is very cold and calculating beat down someone else. Um, yep. and spilled this blood all over the place. It yeah. seems like the person doing it didn't really feel a lot of remorse about it. Yep. But the thing is, yep. Madison wouldn't have torn the place up afterwards. Although that may have happened in the struggle. Haru is a ghoul. She does have potence. Yeah, I feel like that wouldn't have happened. I mean... I feel like something... I feel like Madison did kill somebody, but uh, it probably wasn't Haru. Unless you don't Haru know that. is an infernalist and has power. That's true. Unless Haru is an infer, maybe it was Haru. My that Madison, Madison may have gotten a little bit more than. That's right. If Haru killed Madison, that would be amazing. That's right. Haru is an infernalist. Wink, wink at Joseph. Um, so, well, you know, she's so... an infernalist and she gotta die. <laughs> you know. Sure. Or become so slave maybe... to someone trustworthy. Maybe. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe it was anyway. Madison that was killed. I don't know. We don't know. We don't know anything yet. Is I feel like it'd be a cold day in hell. Hmm. When you finally got rid so, of Madison. <laughs> so, like, on our phone, can we get any news reports of what happened here? I'm sure this is um, As news. you're thinking about that, uh, someone actually pokes her head in and says, Are you with the police? And it looks Dominator, like a Dominator, yes. Huh? It looks like a neighbor has poked their head in. Are you with the police? Um, sure. You don't look like you're with the police. police. Dominate her. <laughs> All right, give me a manipulation plus leadership. We were never here. Seven. All right, you catch a hold of her mind easily. What would you like to do? Uh, look the memories to see what happened. All right, wits plus subterfuge. Uh, seven. Alright. 
you do see memories of that night. There was a terrible uh, fight that was happening. Like, screaming and, like, smashing things. Um, you see that the neighbor looked out through the peephole, and then a woman came out of there, basically covered in gore, um, and just booked it out of the building. Uh, and then she checked, she was the one who called the police, she was, uh, checked inside, and there was another woman that was basically just beaten into a pulp. Like, unrecognizable. They came, took her to the hospital. Uh, the paramedic said it was a miracle that she was even still alive at that point, but they did not expect her to make it. Now, part of me does feel like Haru beat the shit out of yeah, Madison. Yeah, no, it's Madison in the hospital. So what hospital is it? Um, don't know, but I mean, you could find the nearest hospital. Okay. All right, cool. And while we're here, uh, I'll slide a few blood points up off this lake. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you can take your blood points. How many can I get? Like three? Well, you can take as much as you want, but you're going to have to think about it. All right, I'll take like... Three. You cut out. How many are you taking? Three. All right. That is your choice. So, where to now? Well, the hospital, obviously. All right. Let's go see which one survived. So you guys head to the hospital, and you can see it's pretty busy, um, but it's a hospital. There's a nurse at the front desk. Um, people are going around. Well, ask about a woman who came here yes, last night. Yeah, she wants to probably do this. He's probably the most normal of us all. I think probably just asked see if there's a Madison or a Haru that got checked in here. Well, would right. they know her identity? Probably not. But if she had a wallet or something, they could identify her. Alright. So, what is it that you say exactly? Uh, well, we, we so, can... All right, so, yeah, so Joseph, you should probably come up with me. And uh, we'll say that we've reason to believe one of... The people we know was hurt last night and came here and we'll offer both names yeah definitely let's let's do it all right so who's doing Does the talking and who says it all right i'll do the talking okay so what do you say i say now i would say uh hi we're looking to visit someone who was sent here last night Okay. Um, visiting hours are over. Uh, it's an emergency. We were just notified that they've been gravely injured. I see. Uh, who is it that you're looking for? Well, we're not sure. It was either <laughs> Aru Noir or Ma what's Madison's second name? Madison, whatever. Stallworth, do you know Madison's second name? Oh, shoot, my bad. Uh, yeah, it's uh, Wasaya. Madison Wasaya. I see. What exactly? You don't know which one you're coming here to visit? Yeah. Uh, so, they were sharing a hotel room. And we heard one person was injured in that hotel room. We can't get contact, so we don't know which one was injured. I see. Well, I, I presume it was one of the one of them staying there. She goes and checks on some files, and she returns and says, uh, "You can't visit them. However, uh, I can tell you that uh, Miss Madison is uh, currently in very serious condition, um, and they're not sure if she'll be able to pull through. Um, but you know, she you can't visit her right now." Well, obviously, okay. if we, can get in, we need to get in so that Stallworth can feed her some blood. So that maybe she can yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to dominate straight this person. Out of character, fuck yes! <laughs> out of character, we jump in the out freeze frame everywhere. Out of like. character, we've got evidence yeah. that my wife is an infernalist and we'll have to kill her. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't trust uh, your wife, man. Yeah. Oh. No, my wife's just cool. 
Jealous. Uh, you nah. had a dream. I already suspect your wife. So yeah, I will, I will whisper that Haru may very well be an infernalist. Oh yeah. These are all jealous of my wife. She's a survivor. <laughs> She's not going to give up. Yes, I. I John may be corrupted as well. I give a look. I give a look at Leon, and then I proceed to dominate this woman to take us okay, back right. to where she is. Yeah. So manipulation plus leadership. Uh, seven. Okay. Yeah, with your dominate, you're able to get in pretty easily, and she will take you to the room. Um, you can see that uh, Madison is hooked up on ventilators and all sorts of stuff. She has been messed up. Okay. Good lord, what did that monster do to you? <laughs> So you can uh, definitely slip her a blood point if you want to. Definitely, I'll, I'll slip her a blood point. Dude, is that, is that the most I can give her? My wife. Um, you can give her as pretty much as much as you want, although um, she might overdose if you give her too much. Yeah, okay, it's, it's well. Just, just, yeah, I'll, um, just pull through. Maybe get her out of danger. Uh, how many would that be, like two? Um, yeah, two is about uh, yeah, it's pretty is safe. Alright, cool. I'll, I'll give her two. All right, and this is pretty much where we're going to call it, although we're going to have a quick cut scene somewhere else in that very same hospital. Uh, an unseen figure moves into the shadows and brings up his cell phone. There is a name on it in the contacts list, Stephen, which he presses. Phone rings and says, yeah, they're here. Grab Ryan and Derek and get down here. <laughs> to be continued. I was going to say, is it Ryan's <laughs> obfuscate or it's Jonathan in the... It's someone. I thought it was... I, th I thought Derek. they were obfuscated. I was thinking it was going to be nope. Ryan. But mm -hmm. apparently, Ryan and... Okay. So, so your wife working with demons and the enemy, huh? <sighs> Man, no. Haru is Listen, like... Haru's your fucking him. dickhead wife came to... <laughs> He's just cut out. That was a really David unfortunate moment so to cut out. Angry. <laughs> he was just. Like, oh. He came to murder my wife, and my wife defends herself. Uh, yeah, yeah. But see, she shouldn't. Uh, she shouldn't be able to defend herself. I mean, no. Okay. David, just for the record, you cut out right after came. So your fucking <laughs> dickhead <laughs> wife came. I noticed my light turned off. Yeah. All right. So we are going to uh, let's. Get some experience points. Uh, so, what did we all learn? We will start. We will start with Leon. I was an infernalist. Very well. I accept that. Uh, Josephine. Dollar. What did Josephine learn? Oh, shoot, my bad. Uh, Got my Leon already said Haru was probably an yeah, infernalist. Yeah, I did. I already I'm going to give you that one as well, since it's definitely true. Um, <laughs> okay. And Hassan? Hassan? What did you learn? Uh, let's see. Well, I learned, quote unquote, that Abigail doesn't seem to be quite as fond of me anymore. <laughs> yeah, and there's that. Is that really learning? Did you not see that? That's comment? pretty common sense, but you know. It's common sense, but I now have confirmation. Yeah, and you learned that John's wife Haru is an infernalist. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, John. I learned my wife is uh, able to defend herself. All right. <laughs> that, that From was your perspective. For John. That All was right. Surprising for John. All right, and who wins the role-playing award? Uh, let's have... I don't know. Let's have David vote first. I won last time, for the record. Yes, do not vote for Miles. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. All right. Uh, Stallworth and Mary, could you give, could you give me reasons to vote for you? No, I can't. I can't give you any reason, other than I cared nothing for your wife. And That's true. Wife. She was pretty ruthless. Um, She's very consistent with that. I was, yeah. because I, you know, it was just beyond the pale for me. Um, but other than that, yeah. Uh, other than the fact that I was very amused uh, at the possibility of my wife killing your wife, I, I don't really got any other... <laughs> 
All right, Mary. <laughs> All right. So, Miles, who are you voting for? Uh, I'd give it to Mary. All right. And Stalworth? Yeah, Mary. All right. So, you right. get Yay, four experience points. Yes, I get a <laughs> Being assertive. Being assertive. Sorry, I was. The just... female gets a point for being a bitch. <laughs> All right, so uh, Mary gets four points. Everyone else gets three, and uh, that is it for this week. So we will be uh, seeing you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Uh, see ya.